good morning or good afternoon or good evening, everybody, depending on what time it is for you, where you are. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to a fresh, brand new Hazel stream. Kitty cat's here. I'm here. Cure. Squish. Yeah, we're getting we're getting cozy for Sunday. Hello. Hi, Hazel and chat. How's everyone's weekend going so far? Can't complain, although I do need to I think I need to start up my other PC for a second just because I was playing Pal World on a different computer last night and it says my cloud status is out of sync and that won't do. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I uh, I want to play Pal World today. I'm 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 addicted to it. So that's what that's what I'm gonna do. Hang on. Kitty cat, you stream for just a second. I'm not even gonna be or be screen You're just gonna you you just be beautiful and I will be right back. Kitty cat, how's stream been going? Oh, we've had mic, 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 mic focus. That's no good. That's no good. <laughs> how many squish mallows are you up to? Has moose reduced their population? Uh, same amount that I had whenever I talked about it last. I haven't gotten any new ones. I've been, I've been appreciating the squish that I have and not shopping for more. <laughs> and moose has yet to kill one. He did um, make a couple of them vaguely crusty at one point, but they survived the wash just fine. So they've been they've been good. All right, cloud status should be now synced. It should be. It promised. I'm just gonna restart Steam on this end and see if that does it. In the meantime, at least Case being super cute. Steam. <sighs> is it a Triceratops? Mm. This is Jerome. Jerome was my first Squishmallow. He is very big. He is. Um. For a while, when I first got him, he smelled like Shoppers Drug Mart, because that's where I bought him. And they also sell, like, perfumes and stuff. So he smelled like a beautiful woman. Um, <laughs> and he had a pen mark on him. But then I removed it with rubbing alcohol, and I was pleased with how well that worked. How come? How come? How come changes from other devices have not been uploaded to the Steam Cloud? They did, though. They did. I just did it. I just did it. I can't restart this computer. Cloud Sync up to date. Update queued. Because I was playing last night, and I don't want to. I don't want to get my saves all desynced. I wonder if there's another way to do that. World Windabiz, thank you for the 15 month reset. Appreciate it very much. Also, Mediocrity Squared had a 21 month reset. Hmm. All right. Well, there's nothing really for. It. I left that other one on, so there's nothing really for it than to go maybe restart Steam on that one and see if it works. I'm very excited to play, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this sorted. I uh, I have progress to show you guys from yesterday. Right. Maybe I'll maybe I'll um, hard restart Steam on this end and see if that see if that does it. Kitty cat, you majestic. You beautiful. You're gonna have to survive some amount of uh, some amount of vacuum today. <laughs> it is time to clean this place. I'm pretty sure you just have to vacuum twice a week with this dog, I swear. It's just necessary. <laughs> I'm not a big clean freak. I like things to be clean adjacent. You know, I don't want them to just decay into entropy forever and ever and ever. Um, <laughs> but I'm not like super finicky about it, but I, it, I could tell it needs doing. Moose's hair like sheds and then falls to the floor and then coats the floor and then drifts up into like hair drifts and makes uh, new animals in the corners. Hi, sweetie bean. I'm sleepy. Kitty, do you like color? There we go. Up to date. That's the stuff. <laughs> Thanks for being patient with me. <sighs> Upload has not started. I really think it did, though. <laughs> that save is in the cloud. It is. It promised. It promised. I wonder if the cloud itself is having a hard time. What if I, what if I stream it from that PC? Is that a bad idea? <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, man. What a cute kitty cat. Used to clean every day. Got tired of that. Twice a week is enough. Some things I feel... I feel like I'll do some different things at different time intervals, depending on what it is and how, how much it needs to be done. Like, you know, wiping down the kitchen will happen 
you know, basically before and after any time that I'm using it, but uh, like a full, full vacuum, um, all of the rooms is, it used to be once a week. <laughs> now it's twice a week. Um, but then like areas that get dirtier, like the uh, right by the door where all the mud ends up or um, kitty cats, like litter box area will get kind of spot cleaned a little bit more often. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just try. Let me just load it. Maybe it's fine. I saw a recipe for onion soup bread. And I'm both curious and terrified of it. Onion soup bread? Like it's bread that's designed to go nicely in the onion soup, because that's good. Or it's you've made the onion soup and then you've added a large amount of flour and baked it and seen what will spawn. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's see how we're doing. We have Moose Dale. I'm level 24. That seems right. Did I get to 25? I just gotta look around and see if this <laughs> the the the, uh, the data that I had in mind. Onion soup flavored bread. Oh, does it use like one of those like Lipton packet things? Or it doesn't have to be Lipton, but you know what I mean, like the dry soup packets. That would be interesting. Okay, so what's going on here? She's making cake. I guess the real the real test is who's in my party because last night. Yeah, this I think is out of date. I think it's out of date because she's just making cakes. Yeah, I still have an eye. This is from this is from this is where we left off yesterday. I did a bunch more stuff. I can't I can't have desynced save files. This won't do. This won't do. Yeah, I res I hard restarted Steam on both PCs. And the other PC that I played on last night is insisting that the cloud is up to date. Um And this one is not. This one is like confused about it. That's so weird. Hang on, I'm just gonna mess with it yet. <laughs> Such a good idea. Happy Sunday. Oh happy Sunday! Soup packets could be used to make bread. I've heard great things about onion soup bread. Is this like an established concept? I've not ever heard of this. Well, now it's a cloud up to date. Checking. Cloud status checking. What if I just... Is there a way to manage? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Saga, with a 39-month reset, guess who's back? Welcome back. I hope you're feeling much better. Holy smokes, it's been years. It's it's been since last year. Welcome back. Where are we? Are we? I mean, I guess I could just restart it. That's very strange. Much better now. Thank you. Oh, good. Kitty was here. She might come back. Let's see. Let's try this. Because me being stubborn and myself, tempted to assuming that I cannot make Moose Dale sink, which I don't think that I can. Very tempted to um, start fresh rather than like replay, replay ground that I've already been in, because I did a bunch of stuff. How many? Um, here, let me see. How many incubators do I have? No, it's just the one. I made more. Oh, I played a whole bunch last night, and it doesn't want to update, and that's really, really annoying. I've got one more thing I can try, although I'm not like wildly confident about it, but. This is- it, I haven't had this issue before. Probably just a gnarly cold, but that sort of thing. It's different if you're already five flavors of messed up to begin with, I bet. I bet. Well, welcome back. We've been, um... We've been... What have we been doing? The, the usual. This is a, a little bit of a, a detour, a side, a side project. What if I stream it from this one? What happens then? What does this button do? I, uh... I've been enjoying Pal World. We've been having fun in WoW. We've been shuffling. We've been collecting some. I still have yet to get the mount from my freehold mount runs, but we're still sending 17 characters a week at it. Started getting Legion class order hall mails. Cute hair. Why, thank you. Are you able to find the save file and send it to yourself to manually overwrite? So, I don't... Maybe? The problem is that it's using cloud save data, not local save data, and I don't know if I have access to those files. Um, it's insisting, well, now it says the cloud's up to date. I don't, I don't know where it keeps the save files. Um, <laughs> why only once a week for freehold? Because that's the lockout. Uh, my Steam cloud saves are so wonky. Okay. I'm, at least it's not just me. 
I wonder if there's any interface by which you can manage these. Let me see. Not guides or support, because it, it that's a Steam thing. That's not a game thing. The game's working fine. Because <laughs> in, in lieu of that, I might end up doing something else. Good to know. Yeah, just because it's on it's on Mythic. Back when it was a Mythic Plus, you could have spammed that all, all the live long day. Browse local files, maybe. Let me see. Mm, no, I mean I can see where the game install is. That doesn't help me at all. Be tragic, Pell World is wonderful. So that doesn't seem to be working. Well, I could also, the other thing I could do is I could just give up on the progress that I made yesterday. Oh, hang on, we're doing remote play now. Maybe this will work. This seems like a poor idea given that I'm streaming to Twitch and I'm also streaming the game from a computer that's in my living room on presumably my local network. I think the other one is on Wi Fi though. Uh. Hold the escape key to control the remote session. Oh dear. Stop streaming, stop game, change key point. Yeah. I can't even see a cursor. This is no good. This isn't how we do this. This is, this is, well, just for argument's sake, and I, I understand that you guys can't see this for some reason. The EXE must be named something different. Okay, so I'm actually streaming from my other PC. That's no good. And I, you guys can't see it at all. World options, backup. No. <laughs> all right, never mind. Never mind. Escape, abort. Get out of here. Turn it off. That's no good. That won't work. Uh, turn off cloud sync, turn it back on. How do you turn off cloud sync is the thing. Um. I restarted, like what I did was I hard restarted Steam on both ends to hope that that would, that would do it. I think part of my problem now is that it's forked the save files and it's not giving me a chance to, to pick which one that I want. <laughs> I guess I have one more, one more idea. I'm sorry, this is a terrible stream. I have one more idea, which is for me to leave Plushies to stream again. Go launch the game on the other PC and see what that says in terms of like, like picking a cloud a cloud save i think i'm gonna try that um i think i'm gonna try that uh this is stream science they should delete the one on the computer that's out of date delete delete what delete the game delete the the world delete i'm 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 a bit i'm a bit i don't mess with steam very often the local save file I don't know how to navigate to that. I'm gonna try the other thing for now because I know how to do that, and I'll be I'll be back. Because <laughs> I'd hate to just start deleting stuff willy nilly. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, um, problem: the old save file is now gone on both PCs. I think that this cloud save overwrote it. Um, no, we don't want that. So it's, I think it's, I think it's gone. <laughs> I don't know if there's backups or where there's backups or how it keeps save files. And I'm frankly unprepared to dig around and look for it. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to close. I've got a bunch of steams open. We're going to close all those. We're going to pull this open and we're just going to see if we can, because when I launched the game on the other one, it's like, it's also rolled back. <sighs> so this is just the universe telling me that yesterday's adventure was so much fun that I need to do it again on stream to share with you guys. Oh. <laughs> So here we go. I'll tell you the, the short version of what I did. Clearly, I made some more incubators. I found the bees. So I know where they are, but I found the bees and I died like 19 times. It, exaggerating, but not much. In my pursuit of those bees, because they were pretty high level and there was some very dangerous stuff out there. There may be lower level bees somewhere, bee guards, but um, that is not wildly relevant to me. I also bred a few different eggs <laughs> and had some success with that. Um, I made lots of cakes, but it was just a whole, a whole, a whole, a whole thing. I don't think I leveled much at least, so there's not too much progress there that I've missed out on, but... Man! I did so many things! 
Oh, Zed David, thank you very much for the five month reset. Welcome back. Is this the Pokemon clone everyone's been talking about lately? Yeah, yeah. I think I think I agree with you uh, with clone in, in quotations because it's while it does clearly rip off a lot of Pokemon adjacent elements, the game itself doesn't really play anything like Pokemon. Um, it's uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It has more in common with something like Valheim, um, survival base building elements, lots of different things. I like the crafting, so I have. <sighs> I suppose my mission now currently. I mean, I can still let these two be in love. That's fine. We can we can give them some cake. <laughs> I suppose my mission now is to find the bees. I need bee guards to put on my ranch to make honey so that I can have a much larger supply of cake so that I can help my pals to fall in love, make eggs, etc. I also would love to make... Oh, I had made a pal condenser too. I want more egg incubators. I need to kill more bosses to get more ancient civilization parts so I can make more egg incubators so I can, you know, incubate eggs simultaneously. And to make a pal smasher, a pal essence condenser that I can use to, like, supercharge some of my pals by sacrificing the lesser ones to the volcano of, um, you weren't good enough and now you must die. <sighs> That's a drag since the game is so fun, not the worst thing ever. Maybe I'll have learned something from yesterday. Oh, we've got Syndicate Raiders on the way. I didn't remember that happening. Maybe we'll have learned something. It's possible. <laughs> Here, we've got a large dark egg. That may have come from... That may have come from, uh... From the breeding farm. It's, I don't really remember which eggs I had and from what. So far, my strategy for raids has been to just kind of let my pals handle it. Um, especially when they're Syndicate Raiders and not um, pal raiders that I might want to capture. Because these guys kind of seem like they're better at this than me. They seem like they've got they've got a good grip on it. I'd love to organize my bags. <laughs> this is a bit. This is we we got we could probably put some stuff away. R is R R is quick stack. R is quick stack. The saber claw. Thank you very much for the 39 month reset. Happy Sunday, Hazel and Chat. While I'm not a fan of survival games, I'm delighted to watch you play it, so I don't have to. Meanwhile, time to level up another alt and Dark Moon Fair buff and Lunar Fest Elders. Flying all over Eastern Kingdom's calendar yesterday. Did a lot. Mm. <laughs> God darn. <sighs> Where? All right, they're they're coming in from from that general direction. What pals do I have in my party? I have my Nightwing, a Demud for. Oh, that's right. In, at the end of yesterday's save, I had put him in my bags because I wanted to heal his broken bone. He had a fracture. I believe I've sorted that out at this point. He's feeling much better. Um, <laughs> War is promised. They're level 10. I think that these guys got it. They don't need to. Kitty Cat, you coming back? Tanzine and Alpaca, not the only combo, but a simpler one. That might be a good idea. Yesterday, the thing that I had done was not only had I uh, gone and died like a bunch of times trying to tame a high level V guard, and eventually gotten one while my body lay dead on the ground. Like, I had thrown the ball, I had died, and then I had watched it win like a 10% roll while I was dead. It was magical. And then I got home and I put all the eggs into the incubator and then I also hatched one from a verdant egg that I'd found while I was out there. So I can try that adventure again. I could just try breeding a Tanzina alpaca, actually. That's... That sounds a little bit more... <laughs> that sounds like a nice fail-safe. So hang on a second. Let's unassign these guys. I'm sure I have a Tanzina alpaca. So you guys... Um, the Pengullet and... That Ike the Deer. You guys can can get out of there for now. The Wicked Fate, thank you for the 32 month reset. Okie dokie. Tansy, do we have a nice one? Do we have anybody that's like good at working? We have a mine foreman. We have work slave. Work slave will work. Um I'm not I'm not mad at that. That one is male, so I need a female Melpaca. Is one I need. Um ideally. Oh, that one's got serious. Is that female? It's not. That one's male. I like this one's male as well. So let's let's do let's find a different tansy then. Cause work slave is fine, but not not. We need a female tansy. So there's one. Do we have any female tansies that have like really cool skills? No. No, we don't. Okie dokie. All right. So you guys are about to fall in love. If you could come with me, please. If you could come with me, please, <laughs> ma'am. I have I have yet to figure out a good a good um way to. Huh? to do this. <laughs> Your raid combat music is scaring me because I am not being raided. Hi, Hazel. Where's the cake? It's in this. It's in this box. It's in the breeding farm box. Alright. So you 
I find the tar target area for this is typically right around... Right around the flowers, yeah. Alright, so you're busy. You're gonna fall in love. I I summoned him alpaca. There, there she is. <laughs> there he is, pardon me. Sir, if you could please come with me. I have um, a date for you. My, my base feels messy, and every time that I start a new save file, I'm like, this time my base is going to be so organized. Nobody's ever going to get stuck on anything. Uh, never seems to work out quite that way. Breeding farm. Breeding farm. You really want to make sure it like has that blue text when you throw them so that they get assigned to it properly. Okay, so you guys fall in love. Very good. You, they have to fill up that bar. They have a cake available for them when they finish that. I've got some some ammo. I have yet to make any guns. I'm kind of I'm kind of doing a gunless playthrough. <laughs> Do I not even have a metal chest? I could have sworn I made a metal chest. It might be worth it for me to just empty a bunch of these chests and then like organize them a little bit. Um, they are all over the place right now, and it's a problem. <sighs> Did someone say cake? Embrace the best. Do, 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 do. Hazel new Hearthstone. Yeah, I got that one last night. I figured that this was a good opportunity for me to be the Hazel that I want to be and do things when I hear about them and not later on after they're hard to get because I don't have the Sphere of Enlightened Cogitation. So I uh, went there last night as soon as I saw the Wowhead article and I mooched and I got the Hearthstone. Um, you don't need to, you can just kind of go there, wait for a portal, and then just spam click it and try to get it. Nice, yeah. <laughs> I felt like that was going to be, it was going to be nothing but harder to get the more time that passed, so I'm happy that I, that I did that. Let's spend a night, and you know what, if I want to make, if I want to clean up my chest, then I'm going to clean up my chest, because we're waiting a while for that to happen anyways. Ooh, what did we get? We got a large damp egg. What's in it? What's in it? I too mooched my, oh, another pen king. I got a conceited pen king. Do I have any eggs that need need doing? Not so much. This is theoretically my egg chest. Practically sometimes my pals end up just end up or my eggs end up uh stuff from stuff from there ends up there. But let's let's maybe get a little bit organized. Let's maybe clean up a little bit first thing in the morning. There we go. You can sleep in her sad girl cabin. Mm. I'm also, if I wanted a project for today, I am high enough level now to make an auxiliary base that I could set up as kind of like an ore mining operation. So I have that sort of in the back of my mind for if I feel caught up with my projects here and I feel like my breeding's well underway to, to do. Okay, I want to fix up my chests a little bit. I have, I was keeping some chests over, there's this one that I've been keeping over here with the intent of it containing largely wooden stone. Um, I suppose it can also have whatever else it wants, but wooden stone, maybe paldium were like the important things there. Uh, fiber. Because I just want to be able to get home from a long hard day of catching pals and just be able to kind of do the rounds to a bunch of chests that are like nearby. I had, um, I had some idea of having some like, I guess if I'm keeping, this is power fruit, so that's fine. I can do skill fruit and then maybe like skill yeah, skill skill fruit can hang out over there, I suppose. What's in this one over here? Hi, sweetie. This one has a bunch of nothing. Okay, cool. So can I alright, gimme all of that. I hereby no, I hereby deem the chest of nothing. I am deconstructing you. We will we will get a better storage. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna do storage a little bit better. I also want this rock to go away, so if I could have Tom Bat help me with this here. Um, cancel disassembly mode, Tom Bat. Yeah. We're gonna make this make this rock on. Do you know of an add-on that tracks rep across all alts, so I don't have to swap back and forth? I have done in the past, but they weren't kept up to date. I don't know what people use for it nowadays. There used to be a tool called Pretty Reps. That would that would do basically exactly that, and it was great. But I don't know if it still works in Dragonflight. Pretty reps work still. Good, 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 good. That's the one then. Okay, how are our food stores doing? Let's check on that. We have their food chest over here by the spa, um, which is right next to the wheat thing. I was getting the milk. 
That's fine. You guys can eat that. Rescue the milk and the wheat. Let's go over here and pick up the flour. Maximum flour. That's good. I basically want, like, one chest for ammo. One chest for, like, miscellaneous pal materials. And then, um... The nice thing is that stack sizes seem functionally infinite. Some things, like... Some of these schematics I can just delete. Like, I already know how to make pelt armor. The schematic is very useless to me, so let's just get rid of that. We're gonna put the milk in the fridge. I kind of want to put a chickpea onto my base. <laughs> One thing I think I did previously was I actually, like, under, like took all of my pals off my base. And I wouldn't do that right now because they're breeding. But take basically everybody off the base and then reassign them all but manually, like, one at a time. I guess we can we can chuck the wheat in there too for the moment. So let's let's actually pull as many things onto me as I can, and then we can hopefully like even this out. So I know that this one needs to have needs to have my my ore. So let's do ore and nails and charcoal. That's fine. Mm, what else? Pull the flame organs out. I don't mind having an extra stack of rock and woods just so I can like drop them off basically. And let's say let's let's organize that. Maybe pallium. And then I'll do a separate chest for like flame organs and stuff. But this is basically like or rocks, maybe some extra wood. How do we feel about seeds? I can make an extra chest for seeds. It's also, I can make tons of chests. It's just a question of having them be vaguely organized and have a vague sense of where they're going. So one nice thing is that the auto sorting is pretty good. So if I do that, it's gonna put my electric organs, venom glands, flame organs, ice organs, happy with that. Fluids, good. These things I feel like I want a different chest for, like the, the very specific pal mats, but like fiber and leather and wool, you guys are all fine to go there. I'm deleting this strange juice. I don't want it. <laughs> I've never wanted it. Get out of here. I'm sure it's for something and I don't care right now. Ammo maybe over here? I haven't been using any anything like that yet. Maybe ammo and medical supplies. Let's sort ourselves out again. Horns maybe we're over. Horns horns and bones can go here. They're kind of like generic generic palmats. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we had, we had the fluids. We had all of the different organs. We had the horns and the bones. Did I not put leather and stuff over here? No, didn't. Sure didn't. That's fine. We can do leather, fiber, wool. And that's, that's fine. Can I make like a nice metal one? Nice metal chest. Hang out right here, <laughs> I suppose. The metal chests have a ton of uh, slots in them. Pet the cat! Uh, her name is Kira. She's happy to just hang out. She likes pets too. I organized my chest, my pals disorganized it all for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. Is there anything that I want to keep in there that's, like, messy? Maybe we, we keep all this stuff in there and then we use this for something more specific, like skill fruits and souls and oils. Uh, it can be sold to merchants. Oh, okay, so there's, like, a merchant stuff, too. Those things can maybe hang out here. That's fine. I want a lot of, like, really basic stuff in here that I end up with a lot. So let's do like all of this. These guys. Yeah, you guys can all live there. Not so much the food. Civ part's fine. Keys I'm going to carry around with me. <laughs> I don't know why I was putting keys in my chest, but it wasn't a good idea. Um, do I have a scrap chest for just like extra pal mats? Just weird specific ones? Maybe like weird specific pal mats could go they like out of the way a little bit. But you do want to be able to kind of like do the rounds of your chest without um, having to go too far out of your own way. Too close, too close. Fine. 
Birds are going crazy for seeds outside. Had the blizzard come through. Snow always makes them super hungry. Mm-hmm. I bet. That's nice that you're feeding the birdies. I always worry about them. Uh, do I want to use this for seeds as well? Or is that being too greedy? Should I make a separate one for cheese? Nah, no, 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 that's fine. Seeds, seeds, seeds. So the electric organs were going to go in that big metal one. I'm feeling a little bit better about this. And then you can sort that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to eat this cotton candy to make it go away. Uh, we've got one mozzarella meat. My my cake is... My, my, my thing is busy. I, I guess I'll just put it in the fridge for now. Same thing with the mushrooms. And then even like the regular berries. Good, okay. Oh, uh, let's do a coin stack over here. I'm feeling much better about my storage. Thank you for watching this episode of Hazel Organizes Their Pal World Chests. <laughs> Appreciate the, uh, the company here. That's wonderful. I'm so interested to see what these guys are gonna... If, I mean, I've been informed that it's gonna be a bee guard, but I'm very excited for the bee guard. Are you guys in love yet? How's it going? One of one, one of one, not enough cake. So that makes me think that they've, they've eaten the cake. So there should have been an egg. I swear every time that an egg is spawned, I've not once, and I did a bunch of breeding yesterday, not once did I find, oh, there it is. It's like in the ground. Maybe that's what went wrong is my breeding ranch. There's the verdant egg. So that's going to have a, that should have a, a bee guard in it. I think, um, and, and then my transporter pals have been picking them up and sticking them in chests because I've been finding them in chests and I can't think of any other way that they would have gotten there. All right, so we're going to hatch Dan. Happy with Dan. In the meantime, should I maybe go exploring? What is it? Where am I? Where am I? What are we looking at here? How is my base doing? Oh, you know what? I don't know if I've killed the... I haven't challenged the rain syndicate tower. I killed that boss and I completely forgot that I, I had done it. Oh, man. I have to kill the boss again. I had, I had beaten it, but I, I got rolled back. Okay, who am I bringing with me? Who am I bringing with me? We need ground attacks. We need Wesley. We're going to sort by level. Wesley has um, Sandblast, which makes Wesley pretty good at this. Um, Broncherry also has Sandblast. So we're going to bring you with me. So you've got 248 attacks. That'll be good. I've kind of over-leveled the Syndicate Tower for being truly honest with ourselves. <laughs> um, but that's not going to stop me. <laughs> and then maybe... Um, I mean, I'm going to miss having my... I'll well, bring, we'll bring a Fox Parks with me. This Fox Parks is fine. It's got Runner. It's just the one that I happen to have been using. I want to breed better versions of everything, but like... Um, I have a lot to learn about breeding, and I have a feeling that my best way to do that is just a lot of trial and error. So I'm going to need a lot of cake, which means I'm going to need many bees. I also want to put a chickpea, I think. I need to make sure we're stocked up on eggs. So let's, let's find a nice chickpea, and we're going to stick it on the farm. I had a nice one. We're gonna do this one and hopefully hopefully he goes and goes to lay eggs <laughs> male and female chickens both lay eggs in this game and we're just collectively gonna not worry about it all right let's see let's see let's see how the boss goes let's let's do the boss fight and <laughs> uh, no gear does yet maybe today how do you get your cat to hang out Oh, she, uh, this is her idea. I don't, I don't, I don't get Miss Kira to do anything. Miss Kira does whatever she wants. I'm just real lucky that she happens to want things that are really cute. Tower boss, quite a bit harder than I expected it to be. Yeah, I've really procrastinated on it because I was really scared of it. I think I should be fairly over leveled. Um, but I'm about to show you my really brave, super valorous, extremely, um, courageous method of fighting this boss. <laughs> Oh, the cutscene's kind of cute. I like the boss design. Yeah. I think Kira Blues Hazel's there to talk to her for three hours. Seems very pleased about it. Having a little meeting. Yeah. I need to go and fight a few bosses to get some more civilization parts so I can make some more incubators and eventually a pal condenser. Excited about that. <sighs> Okie dokie. So 
So, Wesley, you go fight. I will run away. <laughs> I'm going- I'm not even gonna shoot it. I would do such minimal damage shooting it. I'm not even gonna shoot it. I'm just gonna run away, and then if I see Wesley getting kind of low, I'm going to switch Wesley out for somebody else. My pals do all the fighting. I do none of it. I have in- so far in leveling, put no points whatsoever into my own attack because I don't see a good reason to and because it's much more fun to just boost my carry weight so that I can carry incredible amounts of stuff. Um, so Wesley's doing fine. If he gets down to like a third, I'm gonna switch out and let, let the next, next pal, next pal <laughs> kick in. Hmm. Wonder what animals think about humans when we make so many different sounds. Sometimes I wonder if my, so I think my pets are very cute and I like fuss over them a lot. Sometimes I wonder, not so much with Moose cause he's a baby, but sometimes I wonder if Kira thinks I'm cute because she likes to like sit on my back and you know, like groom my hair and headbutt my neck and stuff like that. Does she think I'm cute? Is that her version of going uchi coochie 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 goo? <laughs> So Wesley's like being pretty tanky. He's got the boss halfway down all by himself. Wesley was one of the first pals that I ever caught. Just a garden variety cativa, but like a, you know, I've, I've had him around long enough that he's managed to get some some experience. And then uh, Fox Park should be able to take some, uh, take some aggro here. <sighs> Will Wesley ever evolve? I don't think there's evolution in this game. I think there's quite a few different pals, but it seems that they don't evolve into other ones. As far as I can see. <laughs> but yeah, this is more or less how I fight bosses. When there are sometimes, um, sometimes bosses will have like more um, sort of side. They'll have supportive um, enemies, like adds basically. I will sometimes try to run around and fight the adds, but uh, I'm usually just run around and hide from those too. <laughs> The Pen King boss that has little pen gullet ads is like really pretty dangerous to me. Yeah. So you try Gale Wing. You've got you've got a an earth skill too. Gale Claw, pardon me. I've only just recently gotten that one. Excuse me. Gale Claw, can you help? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep dodge rolling around. Yeah, so you can breed new pals out of existing ones and they will give offspring that is not I was reading about how the breeding works each pal species has like a hidden strength number and when you breed two pals together it will take their two strength numbers average them and then whatever third pal has the closest strength number to the average of the two parents is what pal will actually um, be in the egg so the same two parents will always give you the same species of third pal and it will never be a power level higher than the parents, but like you can, I don't know. The breeding is seems like a whole nest nest of nest of cans of worms. It's a whole pantry of worms that I'm only just taking a look at now because for the longest time I didn't have any bees. <sighs> I feel like nobody's doing as much damage as Wesley was doing. Wesley took the whole thing down to half within like two minutes and now everybody else is like really struggling to catch up. I think, um, I don't know if it has ground moves, but I think my Nightwing does pretty good damage. So I'm gonna just kind of see if that's any good. Assuming it doesn't miss. Well, it was okay. Wesley is still, it's regenerating health while it's in my party. So if I wait long enough, Wesley will be once again healed and ready for another go. But we got five minutes, we're fine. <laughs> Biology science, flower breeding. Flower breeding, I think, has more, um... Flower breeding is like actual genetics. It's in a way that breaks my brain. I'm really bad at it. Because there, there are like dominant and recessive... Me, who's never made blue roses happen in my life. There we go. First kill. Five ancient tech points. Good job, Nightwing. Uh, do you get any stuff? Is she dead? She might be dead. <laughs> Zoe, Zoe might have perished. All right. We get the fast travel point. We go home. 
go home real quick. Should we go beat up Chill it? Nah, 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 we'll go home. Flower breeding thing, mind boggling. I, at one point, um, saved a bunch of pages of, like, guides and then printed them um, to to have, like, reference sheets on, like, what combinations I was to, I was trying to get for my Animal Crossing flowers and what, what I wanted to do. So I'm looking to get the Palad Essence Condenser. So we have the points for it. It needs more ancient civilization parts. Those drop from the bosses. I need to go fight some more bosses. I've only just started counter typing, which is kind of bananas. Um, there's a cake ready here. So I think if I pop this cake into the breeding farm, I wonder how I managed to stick my breeding farm in the ground to the point that it's, um, it spawns the eggs underground. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. So they, they eat the cake. Yeah, I see the sparkle now. There is an egg. It just happened. No wonder I couldn't find the egg. It wasn't- it was- it was buried. They're burying their eggs like turtles. <sighs> Alright. This should be- should be a bee guard, and then this egg that I'm gonna hatch should be another bee guard. Happy with that. Burly body. Work slave. Power of guy. Abnormal. Happy with that. Okay. So let's do that. Let's take those guys off the breeding station. I think this is enough bee guards for me for now. And then, um... I'll, I'll, I'll start breeding something else later on when I'm, when I know what it is that I want. So Tansy and Melpaca can both get out of there. <sighs> my new bee guard can come on the base. And then when I get my second one, I can put that on the base as well for, uh, for honeys. Because we're going to need lots of honey to make these, uh, to make these things happen. Mm. I have a fair amount of watering pals. Kelpsy, are you watering? Your job is just to water things. That's why you're here. Where is your base location? I am here. This is where I've decided to put my base this time around. It's working all right for me. Um, I still haven't figured out like my favorite place to put a starter base, but I never want to go too far. Oh, you leaving? I have a whole print Pinterest board devoted to it. It went hard. <laughs> Had to look them up too. Oh man, it was fun though. It was nice. I haven't checked my Animal Crossing flowers in a long time. Uh, who, who, what needs doing here? What am I low on? If I wanted to progress more cakes, is it honey that's limiting me right now? I am out of honey. Chickpeas should be making eggs. We should be catching a bunch of eggs and milk and berries and flour. Okay, we're fine with that. The cakes themselves take an excessive amount of time to bake, and that's just kind of is what it is. Oh, look at Penking in the bath. Let's pull these out and then stick them in the fridge. Chill it, are you, uh, chill it, do you need, a, do you need an assignment? Well, or are you just taking a break? You're in good condition, you're working. Chill it, chill it, no, you're, you're for fridge. You are for fridge. I know, I know, excuse me. Come, 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 come. <sighs> Haven't had the desire to pick it up back up in a couple years. Seems to have a strong following, which is great. Every once in a while, I get the itch to start Animal Crossing fresh. And whenever I delete my file and I start brand new, I'll play it for like six months. Um, I've done that a couple of times. But it's hard to do because you don't really ever play Animal Crossing with the intention of resetting it. Like there's a lot of collection in there that feels bad to start over. Um, but I've, I've come to realize that's the only way that I'm ever going to, like, get really super into it the same way that I did when I first got it. And every now and then I just get itchy for that feeling. So I just, you know, send, send the island to the wolves and get excited to see what I'm going to do with it next. Which is usually the same thing, but, like, you know, my tastes change over time. So sometimes I like to decorate things differently or, like, you know, choose different, different, uh, Animal Crossing villagers to keep. I reset my Forever Island, trying to figure out how to design decorate it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okie dokie. I'm happy with my organization. We've got a bee guard now, busy making honey, so we're going to have some more stuff. I want to go basically fight a bunch of bosses. I think I'm going to go to bed, and then when I get up, we're going to go fight Chillet and then maybe Pen King. As water pals, I've only just found this this menu. 
the elemental one. Somebody told me about this in, in stream yesterday. I've only just found this menu, but as water, if I had a good electric, that would be great. Um, I think they both have ice as well, so I'm going to bring my fire pals. I think I'm, I fight both of those with them. Um, we've got fox parks here, and then that's pretty much my highest level fire pals, so I'm just going to bring fox parks. <laughs> yeah, I like Pal World. I like it a lot. <sighs> but I wouldn't be mad if we found some more... I wouldn't be mad if we found some more eggs. I wouldn't be mad if we found some bosses to fight. I want to start... What do I want to start doing? I want better pals. And I think I'm, I'm like, pulled in a lot of directions. Because I want, like, a really good mining pal and a really good lumbering pal. And I want really good fire damage and earth damage. Like, I want really, really good pals for basically everything. And I just need to pick one thing to work on and try. Because the breeding is going to take me a while to get the hang of. Right now, we're just kind of optimizing cake production. Which is coming along nicely. You guys are fine. I appreciate that the eggs still hatch, even if the conditions aren't optimal. That's kind of nice. Can we make more cake? We can, because these take forever. So you just start that. That'll be fine. Let's go fight. Let's do fight. Let's fight Chillet and then we'll fight Pen King. The bosses take about half an hour to respawn. Um, but you can re-fight them to either catch them again or you can get more ancient civ parts from them. What brand is your water bottle? This is an iron flask, which as I understand it is some kind of um, hydro flask knockoff, but I, I like these ones. I was getting them on Amazon. They were easier to get when I was in the States, but uh, I've, still, I've still found them come up. I, pre I think pretty much any like insulated stainless steel situation is going to do good work, though. They're really good at keeping, especially if you have like ice in them, they can keep stuff cold for like a long time. I have a smaller one for my car. And on hot days, I used to just put a couple ice cubes in it and then some water and I could leave it in a hot car like all day and it would still be like really like the ice would still be in there. It was awesome. Mm, I would like to summon Birdie. Ah. I haven't made a Gale Wing salad yet, so I'm still stuck riding my Nightwing and my Nightwing is um, a lot of beautiful ambition and not an awful lot of speed. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I also like that the Iron Flasks have lots of colors, although, you know, most of the companies have lots of colors. Right, we're gonna dismount. Dismount. I want this. And then chill, it's only level 11. Chill is pretty easy. I like to shoot just to aggro it so that my pal knows that we're fighting. And then I can just kind of let them, let them have it out. When you see better pals, you refuse to catch them, like the hair. Did you end up making bread? I did! It turned out pretty good. I ended up baking it in a bread tin in the oven. It's The flavor is very nice. It once again didn't rise quite as much as I wanted it to. Nice, we got four sieve parts from that. That's pretty handy. Let's, uh, let's try pen. Pen King's going to be a lot harder than that. have to experiment with a formulation. Yeah, I think my problem is that I'm using a bunch of different methods for sourdough and recipes, and none of them are for the method that I'm doing. So I need to just experiment a bunch. And what I should be doing is keeping notes um, to figure out what I like, what kind of ingredients I like, what, what kind of ratio I like, because I'm trying to do something that I don't technically have a recipe for. But for whatever reason, I'm being too stubborn to do it their way, and I want to do it my way. <laughs> I don't want to make 24 hour, like, you know, no need fold and stretch sourdough. I know it's delicious. I don't have the patience for it. I want to use the artisan dough cycle of my bread machine and then bake it in some way that works out. So I, I think I just need to experiment a bunch. So that's where Elphidron is. That's too high level. We're going here. Yeah, 40 ounce, exactly. Creating your own recipe. <laughs> and then maybe one day somebody will want mine. Yeah! Gilqua, I don't have a saddle for you, actually. You look beautiful. <sighs> yeah, I think I want to breed, like, some random pals just to, like, discover types that I haven't seen. Um, and then see if I find anything that feels like it's worth trying to get a good version of. So let's, let's pop in here. 
And then we'll send out fox barks. These little pangolets are murder. They're really dangerous. I had also gotten a bunch of look much statues and I'd really boosted my, my capture rate. And all of that got rolled back! We have to find them all again! Well, I think we're down to just us. Basically ate up my entire shield. Yeah, my Ike the Deer, I guess it's just one of my higher level pals, has been doing a lot of my damage. Oh, uh, it does now seem to be a little bit stuck. Wesley, what do you got? The boss ones are alpha. They tend to be. They tend to be quite useful. I might. I might get somewhere by breeding an al by breeding alpha pen king with something. All right. I was bumping up my carry weight last. I remember. Might end up with a different brand based on what's available locally. Now I know what to look for forty ounces or whatever that is at metric. Yeah. Yeah. I had the same problem when I was trying to get an iron flask in Canada. Is that the shipping was kind of ugly? But um, I don't think the brand is. Owie kitty cat. Oh my goodness, you just move faucet your way up there. I think, um, yeah, the important thing is just like a stainless steel insulated bottle. There should be a bunch of brands of them. Shiny Lucky Alpha Pels. That is a good question that I am unqualified to answer properly. Alpha Pels are from bosses. Um, Shiny and Lucky, I think, are the same thing. They're larger and they sparkle. And they tend to have really good traits. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty new to this, so I'm still figuring out. Like, there's, there's stats and there's traits. And you can improve the stats through a few different avenues. You've got like pal souls. You've got um, you've got the pal essence condenser can improve traits. Um, and then like the the shiny and the or the lucky and the uh, alpha pals, I think tend to have better stats. Because if I look at a pal, if I look at like Wesley here, you've got an attack, defense, and work speed stat. And then you've got the, your traits are over here, like your passive skills. I guess I, I should call them passive skills. <laughs> I'm new. I'm still figuring it out. Where am I going? I have lots of work parts now, so I should be able to make a pal essence condenser. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. And then maybe we can just get a bunch of pals to feed into a... Well, I don't know which ones I want to boost yet. You can use your pal essence condenser to like sacrifice a bunch of lesser pals to like really bump up like a good one. However, you need to be, be sure like it, it consumes the lesser pals. So you kind of want to have like a really nice one with good traits to begin with before you do that. I also want to know if I can make a gale wing saddle. I haven't like crafted anything new in a while. Tire howl saddle. I skipped the meat cleaver. What do I want here? I have loads of points. Broad cherry saddle, van worm saddle. I do have a van worm. I might make that. Because once you've made one of those saddles, you've. Gale oh, Gale Claw gloves. Oh, Gale Claw can be used as a glider. Oh, I see. And um, we can do metal armor as well. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go home. Game has everything. Breeding and ritual sacrifice. And then how's my equip weight? I have like extra space, so I think I'm gonna go mine this uh mine this ore and bring it back with me. We're always gonna need more of that. A great opportunity to get rid of that purple thingy if you're refusing to butcher it. Oh, I see, I see. Let's get off of this. Dismount. Sometimes I have a hard time dismounting 
off of the flying mount. You have to be fully descended before you do it. But I can't always tell when I've fully descended. Oh yeah, Wesley won't help me with the copper ore. You need a level 2 mining pal if you want one to help you. So eventually I would love to have like a level 2 or 3 work suitability pal that also has like mining foreman that I can bring with me out mining so that we can together, <laughs> you know, like mine or nodes really fast. But I guess it's not, I mean, I suppose most people will, it's it's faster in general to forget that and to um, just, uh, you know, like put like artisan mining pals onto your base. What I would like is I would like to breed artisan into a bunch of stuff. Because I, I would like high attack pals, but I'm more worried about like really high work efficiency pals for some reason. That just sounds like more fun to me. This is where I have my base. It looks like a great spot. It's huge and open. And like flat, flat, flat. It's tempting. It's probably where I should have done it. Did you move your base? Did you like set up your base once and then like scoot it all later? Because yeah, that looks like the biggest, flattest, nicest area I'm going to get for like a while. I'm really tempted to move everything. It's a huge job, but you do it once and then you're in better shape. Base two, and then I gradually move both things. Oh, okay. The problem is like moving your huge stores of super heavy stuff. Spent four hours moving your base. Okay, you've talked me out of it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> four hours. Like I know it'll only take longer and longer to do the longer you leave it, but holy smokes. Ouchie. I had moved my starting base as well. My woodhouse burnt down, so I was motivated to move anyway. Cause like I still have space. I haven't run out of space. I have my I have my ranch. I have my breeding farm. I have more room to build things. I just uh, they. You know what? My pals have been falling into the ocean. I had some real problem with finding my breeding pals. Just like in the lake, like <laughs> in the inlet. You know, like not helping. It was a bit of an issue. Um. The good news is I have a lot of carry weight capacity. I really want to make myself a nicer house. I just haven't been able to justify the extra space, the room for it. What if we... Okay, here, here's what I'm going to do. Let's... Let's see if we can do this nicely. Because that's going to be way too heavy. I'm gonna need, so if you wanted to make pal box, Paldium fragments, wood and stone. I need to have on me some wood, some stone. I have Paldium fragments. I need maybe a little bit more wood. Oh, I should be talked out of it and I'm not, but maybe, maybe that base was like, was much less than, than the one that I have or much more. Maybe it was a much more advanced base. Because let's fast travel up to that area. Because it was it was nice and central too. Uh, no, I've tried I've tried papering over the lake bits. It doesn't it didn't work out. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, party full of cativas is a really good idea. So I'm gonna basically go to the middle here. Basically, as, as middle as I can get. Happy with that? Do I have a pen king with me? I always have a pen king with me. What do you mean? Alright, well, Wesley. <laughs> Alright. So now we have a base. I'm pretty pleased with the layout. First order of business, storage. First order of business is gonna be storage. I'm gonna maybe make the storages in like a nice little grid pretty near to the pal to the, the, t the fast travel point. Let's 
do a couple of these just for now. And then we want to put... So there we go. Wood stone coins. This is also a great opportunity to kind of redo redo the base from scratch a little bit. Paldium in there. This one I want to do like my uh, my organs. Not the stone. go back and we're gonna bring some more stuff maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna yeah put all these guys back and do just full caps oh no 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 not like that <laughs> not like that not like that full cats here full cats with me kitty cats to me because the, the best thing I can do is move as much of my stuff as I can so now, fine. Pick up all of this random garbage that I had in these chests. That's gonna be heavy random garbage. Oh, but I can't hold it with all these pals. That's nice, actually. That's important. this thrilling. King Paka? I don't have a King Paka. That's a good idea, though. Okay. So we do auto stack. And we're also going to throw ingots and ore in that one. Okay. Actually, now that we've got ingots and ore. Hmm. Need more wood actually for that. Let's bring over some let's bring over some, some decent amounts of well let's do one more here. I had a King Paco, but <laughs> the doctor was able to remove it. Put your equipment in a box, it's heavy. But then I'll be naked. What if I'm attacked by the flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it's a good idea. I just have this weird thing where I don't... I don't... It's a good idea. Okay. Uh, ammo, ammo, ammo. Money, money, money. Medicine. And maybe we'll do a skill fruit one as well. But we need to go bring some more stuff. Uh, yeah, it's like a hundred. Faster. Let's go pick up some more wooden wood and stone. I think this won't take four hours. Void Muse, thank you very much for the 12 month resub. Happy one year. Appreciate it very much. So like, can't take all of that. Can I take like 700? I took like 300. Yeah. Hello all, it's finally above zero Fahrenheit here. But it's snowing. Oh, hi Katie. Glad the money doesn't weigh anything. Not like Valheim. I don't I don't think I knew that the money didn't weigh anything. Alright, this new base, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be everything we ever dreamed it would be. I'm gonna have some real important choices to make soon about, um... I'm gonna have some real important choices to make soon about... <sighs> where to put things. And how much to space them out. Cause like, I wanna keep things really tight so I have lots of room for everything. But I also wanna make sure that, um... That I'm not, like, things aren't getting like tripped up and stuck. So this one I'm gonna do... Um, skill fruits and souls. Okay. 
I will need a fridge. I think moving the contents of the chest is the main thing. And then once I get that moved, I can I can start breaking down elements of the base and then rebuilding them one at a time. Yesterday was a really nice day, kinda warm. Taste of summer to come. The problem is my chests are gonna be like filling up as, <laughs> as time goes on. Uh, I'm gonna worry about moving stuff like that later. I mainly want to move like a lot of wood and a lot of stone and a lot of like pallium basically. So like this, let's just move all of this stuff. And then... Too much? Too much. Still too much. I think the wood's gonna be a problem. <sighs> Uchi, I really like that song. I had a, uh, I had it, I had it on a CD, and I used to sing along to it very poorly because I have many things, and a jazz singer is not one of them. I forget who the artist was, but she was incredible. It was like an old one, <sighs> one of like one of the very famous jazz singers. What do we want to make? Do we want to make a house? I could put a house like sort of off to a side maybe? Oh hey, there's a nigga over here. Huh. Everyone can sing like pros in the shower huh. and in their car. I really like singing in my car but I have to be very careful where I'm doing it because I'm still new enough that I'm kind of like I still need all of my focus for something so um I have to make sure I'm, I'm driving in very familiar places if I'm gonna start breaking out into song. Nina Simone, I think that might might have been who it was. That might have been that might have been who it was because the the track also had um, a famous trumpet player on it, and I don't want to say who because I don't want to be wrong and then look silly. New enough to wear? I don't I I don't remember what I had said. Oh, driving. New enough to driving. <laughs> um, I also don't don't drive very often, so I'm still. I haven't driven around these parts very much because, like, you know, I, I don't have a daily commute. I might take my car out every second week. Mm. Um, okay. Let's say I need a smelter, I think. We'll need also pal beds and feed boxes and stuff. my smelter. Campfire cooking pot. Oh, there it is. Primitive furnace. Primitive furnace should hang out somewhat nearby where that stuff, where the chest is. Doesn't have to be like super crazy close, but like maybe here. Looks like I've maybe finally possibly found a D&D group again. Nice! Passenger queen? Might be too old for princess. No, I've been the only person to drive since um, since I left my marriage. But uh, I just don't go out very much. <laughs> just a mild amount of a hermit. Because <sighs> um, my partner, um, I, uh, I, I drive. Speaking of driving, gotta go to training. Have an amazing rest of your Sunday. I'll see you later. Morning. Good morning. Welcome to Hazel's decided against all good judgment to move her established pal world base. Um, <laughs> where do I want to make beds? Hang on. Management menu. 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 5, 10, 13 beds. I kind of want to make them fluffy beds because like I may as well, you know. The fluffy pal beds. They love sleeping on fluffy beds, but they take nails. 
They take nails. The cloth's not such an issue. The nails are. <laughs> Did you eventually read my sub yesterday? No, I, I missed it. I missed it. Let me see if I can find it. Do you remember if it was like early or later in the stream? Let me tab out. Do, 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 do. I should have used my last chat message as a sub message. Oh well. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, local everything is when walking distance. It's a pretty walkable city. There's a few different dog parks that you can get to um, on foot if you're not if you don't mind uh, don't mind trekking. <sighs> Joke doesn't work with the 24 hour delay, but what you gonna do? Yeah. Okay. I suppose straw beds are fine. I suppose they're fine. I can also like redo them later. I don't know what infrastructure I want to do first. They need beds. Where do I want them sleeping? Because it shouldn't be super far. I mean, they only go to bed. Well, sometimes they go to bed. Do I want to start putting stuff way off on the side? Yes, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not worry about the travel time. Cause otherwise I end up just not using the far borders of my base. So we're gonna make just 13 of these if we can. Two. I'm gonna make them as neatly as I as I can manage. It's not gonna be perfect, but three. And we can always replace them later with the fluffy beds if we end up just awash in materials. Six. Seven. They're gonna need a feed box too. I did get my Zareth Mortis Hearthstone. This one's gonna be nine. I guess I don't mind just going all the way around the edge. We'll do 14 just for good measure. Okay. And then we're just gonna summon a uh, quick building. Yeah! Summon a Kativa. Could just start working on it. Uh, is the breeding farm? No, I'm I'm moving my whole base to a bigger, flatter area. It's, 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 it's happening. It's effectively where I'm at. You know what I should do now? That they'll have beds, and we're gonna need to get a feed bin too. But let's uh, let's assign a bunch of handiwork pals to this base so that they can all help build their own beds. So, Pen King, you have rank 2 handiwork. If we sort by pal number, we can just get all of the Pen Kings going. You guys can start. Who else might have really good handiwork? I think, um, Lovander did. Lovander might be on the other base, though. Nah, I won't worry about it. <laughs> so you guys go make your beds. Uh, we're also gonna get maybe a nice feed bin over there. Can we can we do that? Yeah, nice feed box. Now they're gonna be going to and from the feed box a lot. I guess that's fine, assuming that um that the berry fields and stuff are here. Then that three time land balls, put chests in the old area, drop land balls, scrap everything, and then port out land balls. How do you feel about the guns? Big reason I can't get into it. I just haven't used the guns yet. The guns didn't look super appealing to me, so I just didn't do them. <laughs> this is pretty much where I'm at. I uh, haven't haven't been there. All right, I'm gonna bring over some berry seeds now, and then we can get started with that, so that they can have something to eat. Maybe a nice cooking pot. They're the least buggy of the Palmons. They don't get stuck. They collect everything, shove it in the closest chest, eat the least. Oh. 
Oh, it's nice that these guys can at least do some building for me. So I should probably bring over some food. Unless, um, here, you guys can have half of my food. I've got a lot of baked berries, so I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna split my stack. I'm gonna put some in my own feed bag, and then you guys can just have 170 of these in your box. You've got something to eat. And we can now put Hi Kitty Cat a chill it, if we can find one. Uh, or somebody with chilling. Chill it's so cute though. Yeah, put a chill it on the base. Kitty. So that we can uh, have the fridge working. Kitty <laughs> cat! She's headbutting my mouse hands. Hi, sweetie. Bye. You want some scratches? You were getting so worked up the other day. You were doing this, but then you were just biting me with all three of your teeth. Like, oh. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Mouse is unavailable at this particular moment. Hi, sugar bear. All three teeth, yeah. Well, you got you got you got a couple on the top and a couple on the bottom, and you still got your little uh, your little vampire ones. So you got enough. You got enough for a good chomp. <laughs> okay, can we put? I guess Penking could do cooling as well. What is Penking here? Out of out of curiosity, I just want to know, Penking, what do you look like when you are cooling? Cause, cause Chill looks very cute doing it. What's Penking's animation for cooling the cooler box? Is this is he working right now? Is he doing it? Does he not want to do it? Cause Chill it's adorable cooling the cool box. Cat going after mouse checks out. Oh. Mm. So there's things need kindling. Oh, we need to go back and get our uh, go back and get some uh, berry seeds and whatnot. Do you have a favorite pal? Oh, I don't know. That's hard. That's really hard. I wonder if- is it because there's nothing in here? There we go. Eggs and milk. You have a job. Come chill it! Chill it, please! I don't know why- oh, there we go. Penking's doing it now. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Love Andrew's the best pal, and it's not even close. Do you have a least favorite pal? Well, it would be- <laughs> it would be- it would be unkind to say Love Andrew now. Oh, kitty cat. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Yeah. You can bite me. You want to chew on mom? There you go. You're uh, you're ten. You've earned the right to chew on me if you want to. <laughs> Hi. Besides, her love bites don't really hurt. I'm sure if she was actually angry, she could still harm you. But I've never seen her bite somebody in anger. Eh, not for a long time, anyway. It's okay if <laughs> you don't love the best pal. Let's go, let's go bring back some stuff. Get some berry seeds. Ah, uh, this is a solo world. This is a solo world. This is Moosedale. <laughs> um, so I kind of don't want to... I'm not like willing to break anything down yet. Um, even though eventually that's kind of what I want to do. Bring some fluids. I guess the wooden stone is fine for now. Where are my seeds? I want berry seeds so I can start getting some... There they are. That's what we're at. Start getting some some berries going on. Mm. And then maybe move stuff from the fridge to the new fridge. <laughs> Q 
kitty. She's she's looking at my screen. I can leave them with some. Oh, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> Is it easy to move your base? Depending on how far in you are, it's kind of a lot of work. Um, you can dismantle your base with like one click and it'll just dump everything on the ground, but then based on your carry weight and stuff, it can sometimes take a lot of effort to ferry everything to your next base. Um, so I'm just kind of moving things a little at a time here. You can fast travel between your bases, which helps. Um. And you can, you know, like auto deposit things in chests and... Okay. Fridge. And berries. And then like maybe the, the flower and the honey. I was gonna make another chest. I was gonna make a big metal one. What I wanted to have in the big metal one, I don't remember. Will there be any WoW today? I'm not planning it, no. I'm having a lot of fun in Pal, in Pal World. Look at them all go! <laughs> They're all so helpful! <laughs> Alright, chill it. I would like to officially assign you to, um... I would like to officially assign chill it to the, the cooler. I can get a get a target on him. There must be a reticle point where we've got got an access to chill it. That's why you get land balls. Ah, I see, I see. Hi. Wheat in the fringe. I love my pals, they're adorable. Ball and throw them somewhere else. I'm trying to pick them up. I'm just not getting the interface for it. Typically, if you get close, you should have like a V to pick up so that I can. It's kind of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, it's just not. I think he's too close to other stuff. I could, um, the other nice way to deal with stuff like this is if you just pull him off the base and then you put him back on. He'll spawn behind the pal box and then you can usually grab him. There he goes. My cat has decided to sit exactly where my mouse goes, and she, she just, she don't play game, pet cat. Okay. Happy with that. So now, we should be able to get them started on food and stuff. So I'm gonna do just one berry plantation. I feel like two is I just I had two originally because that was what um that was how the the requirement you needed to upgrade your base originally. But now that that's been done, I don't I think one should be fine. And then maybe like a <laughs> kitty! Once I get everything built, I think I'll switch the pals around to have the right pals for doing stuff. Should we do um, a lumber yard and some stone? Like I know that we have enough of those things for now, but it wouldn't hurt to wouldn't hurt to have them set up here. One lumber yard, one stone pit. I want to make a nice little house. I want a slightly bigger house than what I had before. Mm, should have enough. Should have enough wood for all that. I like to typically do one chest that's like as close to these guys as I can get it, so that uh, I can just like dump their. Uh, probably could have put it like right in between, but 
just like a really nearby one to to dump like the excess wood and stone there bigger than the lean to it's so cozy i just want to be able to use some of the furniture to decorate it on the inside and uh there's just no room for anything in the one by one I think like a little two by two square, if I have room for it anyways, which I'm hoping I do with this bigger base. If I have room for it, it would be good. Hey, Soft, thank you very much for the three month reset. Very much appreciated. <laughs> the role of the big duck looking dude. Uh, Pen King, right now I've just kind of put a few different pals on that had handiwork so that they can help me with building all of these things. I don't know why they're not helping right now, <laughs> but they're, um, it was just so that they could all help me as like put up all the new stuff. Um, he can also he can do a few different things. He can water crops. He can mine. They're they're busy mining ore right now, which is fine. <sighs> um, a bunch of them have decided they want to start mining rocks, so that'll be that'll be fine. Mm. What else? What else? I guess I have enough wood maybe that I can um, and we could even put like a lumbering pal on enough wood going that I can get a house house sorted out. Maybe I'll make my house by the beach. <laughs> so let's let's get a let's get an Ike the Deer, because Ike the Deer has rank two lumbering. They eat a lot, but that's fine. Any I have a workaholic I have a downtrodden workaholic Ike the Deer. I think I replaced a pal, but that's okay. Big fire, thank you very much for the fifty two month reset. I presume you're doing human amount of workload on your pals. Yay! They're 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 uh they're well looked at. They're gonna get a spa out here any minute now. Fear not. <sighs> Listen, when they break bones on the job, I get to it at my earliest convenience. <laughs> hot spring, hot spring. I like the hot tub a lot. I think it's really cute. Uh, you guys can have this like right here, so that if you're working and you get tired and you want to take a break, you can do that. Kitty <laughs> cat. She's just, she's just picked her spot. <laughs> Alright, I'll need a big thing of workbenches. A ranch, a breeding farm, statue of power, that's important. A statue of power doesn't have to be anywhere in particular, you don't visit it crazy often. You could put that really anywhere that you want. Picked a very strange spot to loaf. She doesn't normally do this. Just got the a collection of me toy. Nice. Congratulations. Let's let's pop this up like I don't know here. Seems fine. All right, honestly, this big base might bite me with all the travel time. But this is I'm gonna try to put stuff over here on this side that the pals don't actually need to come to, like my house. Let's do building foundations nice little wooden house wooden house by the forest The building I find is much more straightforward than the Valheim building. If it, it's I find it harder to make like pretty looking buildings with this. Um, although, mind you, I have like very basic. Um, I'm using very basic stuff. I end up mostly making boxes, but the furniture that you can put in the boxes is pretty nice. Right click to build continuously. Although I do tend to have this issue where like you I kinda have to jump in my door. <laughs> oh no that I can I can walk in this one, that's good. Can we put like a nice wall torch here? <laughs> Little indoor light. And then I'm gonna need my bed. Which currently sucks, but that's okay. Let's put it in the middle. Let's do a nice little moment like that. And then we're gonna need a roof. And then we can definitely go in 
on like the ivy here. Right over the bed. What does this stuff use? I need I need to um I haven't put a lot of points into cosmetic stuff yet, but I think I have lots of extra points and it's about time. Uh, you can build your base anywhere that you like. You can build your base anywhere that you like. It's usually a good idea to get, um, it's a nice idea to get a lot of space because it's pretty easy to run out of room. Anything? House plants important. Antique storage? Uh, I don't know about the antiques. Fireplaces, yes. Carpets, yes. Chairs, sure, fine. Antique chairs. Maybe a nice desk. Couch. Bath. All very important. Alright, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I think I want um, some wall torches that are behind the bed. Unfortunately, they seem to like not stay extinct or lit all the time. Like you have to. Oh, I've, I've gone to bed. Oops. They seem to um, unlight themselves after a while. Whereas I would like to keep this flammable place burning at all times. They don't need any materials, at least. It's not like Valheim where you have to. Um, it's not like Valheim where you have to, whatchamacallit, uh, restock them with sap and stuff. Okay, so let's get like a nice stone fireplace? Brick fire, stone fireplace. Maybe in the corner over here. Your fire pals have to keep them light. Is that why I always see them trying to burn my house down? They're like relighting my torches? That's funny. I was wondering why sometimes they would just like ditch cooking food and then come do this. That's that's pretty good. Oh, I've done it backwards. I've done it backwards. Sorry. Fireplace gotta go. <laughs> we gotta make it gotta make it again. There we go. Fireplace has a front. Very important. That's backwards. Yes, yes it is. This is honestly new base is worth it just for the new house. What other house plants could we put in here? Potted house plant, house plant, and chair. Oh, we're gonna need more wood. We need more wood for a bunch of this, but it's already looking much better. No, I haven't had a raid burn my house down yet. Typically, if I'm not streaming, I just turn raids off because they're not super fun for me. I would rather like explore and oh man you're really going super far i guess that's fine i'd rather explore and you know set up the base and stuff like that mm. anybody lumbering oh yeah ike theater, ike theater was doing ike theater's just busy <laughs> i like kativa just standing here looking at the lumber um just you know thinking thinking hard strong thoughts about it hi here <laughs> Alright, what time is it? 1041? I think I'm gonna leave my pals to it and I'm gonna take a short I'm gonna take a short break here. I will be right back. I'm just gonna see if I can put the cat on my lap if she'll accept this, because this is making it really hard to stream. Well, wanna hang out here? Look, it's lovely, it's comfy. You get pets. Yeah, it works too. Poro, thank you for the 39 month reset. Appreciate it very, very much. Hip hip hooray! Oh. Oh. Found, found chap. Alright. Should I bring. Should I go back and break down some of my stuff in my other place so I can maybe start bringing things over? Should I. What else 
was I? I mean, I know I'm I'm moving my my base. What else can we make here? We need. We've got the wheat and the feed, or at least a basic version. We need a ranch and we need a breeding farm. And we're gonna need more wooden fiber and stuff. So we can go get wooden fiber from the other base. <sighs> or we can just kind of maybe, can I make a crusher? If you look in production, I'm gonna need a crusher. Again, a little bit, a little bit more wood. I think I kind of want to start just laying waste to this. Oh, there we go. Raid's coming. Are they coming? The question is, which base are they coming for? Because I, I know they can attack either base. This is the Toko Toko implode unit. 160 meters. They're coming for this base. That's fine. I won't, I won't break this base down just yet, then. I'm going to make a little incubator area some point. Yeah, there's an extra bee guard. That's good. Oh, I got a serious bee guard. That's nice. I think that I meant to do that. And I'm a wraith. I don't think I had one of those before. Can you guys handle it? I think they can handle it. I don't think I need to worry about it. I'm also pretty sure I have Toko Toko, so... I'm gonna just bust up a bunch of stuff here. I wish it wouldn't auto, if I had to make one request for this game, I wish it would not automatically... Okay, there's the token token. <laughs> I wish it wouldn't automatically, um... Yeah. Send a ball! Hope for the best! Chuck it! Yeah. Oh. oh, and I get that one. Nice. <laughs> got it, Toko Toko. Oh, they're leaving. They're scared. I wish it wouldn't auto-pick things up past your encumbered limit. I wish that they... Because in Valheim, like, it, it'll leave it on the ground, and then you could manually pick it up, but that's, like, your fault. It's on you. I built in a mountain they can't get to, and it's funny watching them bug out each time. Oh, man. Um, I think my pen... Oh, there we go gonna say I think these guys are having a bit of a struggle. I could, if I go and I go into the fast travel menu and I find my old base, I could just V to dismantle the base and I think it'll just dump everything on the ground. Structure is not placeable outside of the base be disassembled. All pals will be stored in your pal box. Yeah. Alright. So let's just do that. And then luckily I had built it pretty fast to a fast travel point, pretty near to a fast travel point beforehand. So now we can hopefully just go scoop up the rest of this and then. <laughs> and then, uh. Do I still have my full cat party with me? I do. Scoop up the rest of this and uh, make it make it work. Oh, nice. oh, a little bit too much. Let's take um drop some of these for now. Come back for it. Played it non-stop to level 50. Holy smokes. I've gotten to level 20, like 4, 25-ish a bunch of times, but I've never gotten past that because every time I get to this point, I always want to start over and do something different. Okay, that brings me back down to 191.
I guess I will put like specifically. How much does my armor? My armor weighs 10. Oh, my axe, actually. I've been carrying around this metal axe for no reason. I haven't done any any chopping myself in, like, a long time. My pickaxe, sure. Put that away. See if we can find our stuff in the dark. Oh, that's funny. A lot of it actually stays up. I know I dropped a bunch of... Yeah, there we go. I dropped a bunch of ore. This is where my breeding farm was. Get a roof to snap in the right place to save my life. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's no fun. There you go. <laughs> nice little depresso. And then we want to off these beds. And pick up as much as we can. Go take it back. This isn't turning out to be as long of a project as I thought it was. It's still pretty long. Um, I think it's nice that I happened to build this base right by a fast travel. I didn't think of that at the time, but it does make it a lot easier to move your base. If you're going to do a temp base, you may as well do it near an eagle statue so that if you do decide to just break it down before... I guess, you know what, you could just be smart and not break down your base and just, you know, disassemble it manually. I just got impatient and I wanted to commit. Egg in fridge. I have a feeling that I'm never going to be happy with where with where my base where my base is located. I'm always going to want more more space. More I mean, it is pretty much maximum space, but I don't think I'm ever going to be quite quite pleased. Um. I never use these uh, these skill fruits, and I know they're like good. I just never really. I'm not. I'm not done them. They're releasing new islands as well, so you'll never be happy. Yeah. Oh man. This so far, I'm happy with this. This seems nice for now. Shall we go to bed? Shall we see if we can pass the rest of the night and then go ferry over the rest of our things in the morning? I mean, I love my new house. Loving this. That's come a long way. I just spent a bunch of uh, points on decor. There we go. So that's where she takes her selfies. <laughs> In her, uh, you know, her outfit of the day photos, right there. It's her pelt armor of the day. Nice little mirror. Uh, her laundry can maybe go like a little laundry bin. Laundry bin on the side. Happy with that. The bathtub's gonna need a spot. <laughs> hi, hi, DVK Joe. How you doing? How are things? I'm busy. I'm busy making a nicer pal world house because my last one was depressing and I decided to move my base. Oh, I could do a little partition. Okay. So if I wanted to make like a little bathtub area, I could like kind of partition it off from the door a little bit so that you have like a little privacy. Right? Glad to hear it. I'm doing good too. I've discovered that pal world for me right now is kind of a cheat code to not being tired. <laughs> Even if I like needed 
more sleep or something like that, I I pretty much will not get tired as long as I'm playing this game, which is kind of a really incredible she could. Why does it say? Where's where is the bathtub? Does the bathtub go outside? Can I not put the bathtub in my house? Because mm. it's kind of less cute if it's outdoors. <laughs> The towel rack was lovely. Will that go inside? People attack you or take your stuff? Um, this is a single player base right now. So there's raid, like NPC raids, and they can attack your base. I don't think they can steal your stuff though. I think the worst thing they can do is kill you. Move your roof temporarily. Oh, good tip, good tip. Let's try that. Because, you know, the tub's important. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It, like, just overhangs the roof a tiny bit. I wonder if I can put the roof back or if the tub will be filled by the rain. Because that's quite nice. No, oh, no. Roof goes back. Yeah. A little fireplace. Can I put, um... Can I put this on my mantle? Does that go up there? No. What about a nice little stool? Oh no, you can't put the... I want to put some... You know what, this, this might be kind of nice. You've got that house plant there. Put another one like right here. Put a stool on the fireplace. PvP in a future patch, you can take other resources during it. Oh. That doesn't sound like it's for me. Okay. House looking cute. We were gonna... Yeah, I was gonna move a bunch of stuff. That's right. At least in the meantime, we have people... We have people mining and lumbering. They're... They're kind of living off of the food that I brought over from last time. And they have lots of it left, so I'm not gonna stress about that for now. Because I'm... I've got 102 here. I can just dump. There we go. You've got lots of food. We'll, we'll get... We'll get gardeners set up, but not yet. I just gotta go. Harvest the rest of my stuff. Drevin the Cursed? Thank you very much. 20 month Risa? Best stream. Always. Watch dogs. I wonder if I ever found the rest of that that ore. I had dropped some, some stone in the ground. Maybe a pal put it in a chest. Because I know I had a cat out with me. Anything else just hanging out in the ground around here? Incredibly heavy amounts of wood. I may not ever end up moving all of my wood and stone over. I might just get more of it. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. I need to make a workbench station somewhere. It doesn't have to be super close to everything, so maybe I'll put it on the opposite side of the production huh. stuff. Huh. 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 But first I want to pick up all the stuff that I've like left on the ground everywhere. Loads and loads and loads of wood and stone. Okay. That one might be a bit of a project. 
Everything else, I think, should be pretty easy to... Yeah. I can probably come back and start busting up the work tables to bring them back. I'm pretty sure I've... <laughs> some, some ore has gone missing, but we can mine more. It'll be fine. Thanks. Thanks, Wesley. Appreciate it. Uh-oh. Too much. Too much. Put so much time into this game already. I wonder if there's an extra aspect of fun to it where... I, I don't know about you guys, but I had not heard of Pal World before it blew up. So I didn't really have any time to, like, build up expectations that could then be let down or to, like, write it off early. Like, it was basically after everybody was already, you know, having a lot of fun with it that I'd heard of it. And I feel like I gave it a chance with the clearest mind that I've been able to give a game a chance in, like, a long time. Um, because normally by the time a game comes out, I've, like, already heard a million things and built up a bunch of expectations. So this one was just kind of a surprise, and that was fun. It was fun to get surprised by a game. I think if I'd heard of it early, I would have just been like, oh, it's a cheap Pokemon ripoff, and I wouldn't have bothered with it, and I would have missed out. Hi, kitty. Hmm. It was just meme. Hard to disappoint. Mm. Alright. These work tables, it's, it's their time to go bust all of it up and see what we can carry back here. Am I pretty full? Pretty full. 995 of 1100. Oh, I got basically all of it though. That's nice. So basically the only thing left that I haven't moved is that chest that has like a ton of wood and stone in it. Everything else from my old base is pretty much returning to nature. More or less how I left it. Is this mine? Uh, this wood. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how much wood and stone and stuff I can actually carry in one trip with all these cats. I wonder if it's worth trying to bring it over. <laughs> so many cats. Because oh, I'm going to have to build my, my ranch again, and my breeding ranch, and kind of reshuffle around the pals that I want to have on my on my base. Scream TT, thank you very much for the brand new sound. Appreciate it. Scream. That's how we're going to go with that. Welcome to the squirrel squad. Um, cause how much over is that? That is about four times as much as I can hold. So if I go half, half again, yep, so I can hold. Uh, oh, no, math, not my strong point. <laughs> I don't even think it's really worth pulling all this stone over. It might be. I don't have a King Paco, so I'm kind of doing it the old-fashioned way. Stuff counts for a musical. Delizra, thanks for giving it a gift, sir. Appreciate it. I should probably do something that other people would consider fun. <laughs> I'm really I'm really getting a big kick out of moving my base, but it's occurring to me that this is basically the data entry of gaming and that I may be the only person enjoying it. <sighs> should we get our workbenches set up maybe? I should have brought over basically all of the all of the stuff that's to my name. Maybe we should do a big crafting area kind of over here on this side. Uh, I don't have a grappling gun. No, I've heard I've heard good things about traveling with it while encumbered. Hazel, did I tell you I've done two fifteens? You didn't! Congratulations! Should move my main base. Main base. I'm going to. Hola. Enjoy a good data entry session. Oh shucks. Okay, I don't think I need a primitive workbench now that I can make a high quality one. So we're just gonna skip that. We're gonna go right in. Um, where do I want to do these? Cause I want my pals to help. I want my pals to help. Should I make them somewhat, may, maybe a little? I don't know. We'll just <laughs> see. Now I'm do, now I'm ha making different mistakes where I'm insisting on putting everything on like the far opposite end of my base, and um, it's gonna be really far to go to get to any of it because the pal box is like in the center. Let's do the workbench setup kind of here-ish, facing the ocean. 
So we're going to do a high quality workbench. We're going to make a PAL gear workbench. We're not going to put them too close together because sometimes I have trouble with this. Uh, repair bench, very important. I suppose the medicine one. I don't end up using it much. I'll put the medicine one on the back end. Weapon workbench. Yeah. You guys could all speech. And then I'm pretty close to being able to make a think a sphere assembly line, which may out out um, rank the sphere workbench. Oh no, sphere assembly line is not till 27. I need a sphere workbench. Do I see it? it? Might be under pals. Yeah, sphere workbench. Space needs some feng shui. 4.45? Oh, nice. You've climbed really fast. You're doing it. Hey. Happy with that. Chill, it's on the cooler. It's not quite as homey as my other base, but it is flatter. It's for sure flatter. I'm gonna set up one essence condenser and then as many egg incubators as I can manage. I'm gonna set them up, I guess, kind of maybe here-ish? Maybe, maybe over over by the statue. Uh, I don't have a referral link for this, no. I'm just playing for fun. I do like the looming pointy stone overlooking the base. It's kind of fun. I think the pals are smarter than me. They're facing the facing the right way. And then I'm thinking I should maybe make my incubators a little away from my house because I'm gonna put a fire near them sometimes for heat purposes. <laughs> Fried rock in the wind. Uh, so maybe we'll do incubators like kind of here-ish, so they're like a little out of the way. How many can I make? Two more. I put a little egg chest. Base relocation time? Yeah! It actually... How long has this taken me? Like an hour maybe? Because it's it's 11 a.m. now. Um, I think part of the benefit is that I did it fairly early in my playthrough, so um, I haven't been... I haven't had like a ton of... Uh, there wasn't too many crazy things to move. The main thing is I've got like a lot of uh, wooden stone left over at my old base, but I feel like that's kind of fine. We can kind of get away with that. All right, can I make a breeding rant, breeding farm? Can we can we set it up? Probably shouldn't put it too close to the ocean, but what are you gonna do? We we'll put the breeding farm like here, maybe, and that way we're breeding not too far from the eggs, the egg incubators. Oh, how proud they are once they're done. Yeah. And then I'll put the ranch kind of over a little closer to the other side of things here. We gotta get cake production back underway. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, the ranch isn't nearly as big when all's said and done. Uh, there is a story. There is a story. You can kind of uncover it via journal entries. I would be lying if I said I'd ever read any of them, but you know me. Nice spot, kind of picturesque. I like the ocean view. I like the ocean view in the distant mountains. The, you know, the parched ground is maybe a little bit grim, but that's okay. All right. Have I made everything that I wanted to have? We have one of each of these guys. Oh, I need like a mill and a crusher, I'm pretty sure still. Let's put the mill. So they're going to be taking the wheat. Maybe the mill can go. 
The mill, sh the mill should be not super far from the wheat farm. I'm kind of like put it over here because I bet you sometimes the flour is going to end up there in the feed bin. So a mill and then a crusher could go more or less anywhere but I'd like it to be over adjacent to like the stone pit and stuff. Maybe I can fit it in here. But not tuck it too tight because I find that whenever I stick things really tight I'm just asking to get my pals stuck. <laughs> Water goddess thank you for the 32 month reset. So yeah, this game's been super successful. I imagine some people have made a lot of money on it. But it's fun. <laughs> so if I wanted to get like some fiber, I could take take some of that. And I could say, yeah, just get me. Okay, maybe not like that's that's too much fiber. Maybe like that much fiber. And then somebody will come over and water it. One of them's on their way. There's a pen king en route. It says. Well, I thought so. Maybe I can grab one of them. Excuse me, sir. Can you come with me? I have I have I have a task for you. I have a task. Thank you. Has that ever happened to you guys? Maybe he's just like taking a break, or maybe he's thinking about it. Oh, there he goes. Wait, no, that's not what he asked you to do. He's transporting. <sighs> Sometimes I um. Oh, now he's hungry. He wasn't transporting. He just got hungry. He he thought about working, and then he was like, "No, I can't do it. I must snack." And you know, I've been there. <laughs> all right, now that I have all my stuff rebuilt, I think I should probably give a second thought to who's on the base. And um, make sure here. Let's let's get some let's get some ranching going. So let's reset everybody off the base except for Chillit. Chillit is busy keeping the cooler done. That's good. I want a chickpea to lay eggs. We're basically just doing cake cake stuff. Chickpea for the ranch to lay eggs. One mozzarella to make milk. I have a clumsy, a brave, and a workaholic. Workaholic mozzarella to make milk. Bee guard for honey. Two of them. Two bee guards for honey, and they can all hang out at the ranch. Because I have I have two. So both bee guards. Including my, my serious and the burly body bee guard. So that'll be good. I wonder if it's worth putting a putting a chest, just like a basic one, over near there so that they don't feel like they have to go as far to dump the stuff. I don't know if that will work out, but I can try. Do you call this a base? And then I can pick things up and put them in the fridge as, as needed. Uh, we'll want a couple of kindlers around. We'll want a few... Here, let's do the kindling first. Fox Parks can obviously do it. Did our socks make it? I have a van worm there. I have an incineram who's got kindling one but handiwork too. There we go, there's socks. Socks can hopefully mainly be kindling and not lumbering. Would be nice. If they're yeah, socks is gonna go light my light my candles here. And we can officially start making cakes again as well. Oh, six cakes, nice. Okay. Happy with that. I need to save two slots for the breeding ranch, but I have four or five more. I'm feeling okay on wood. Maybe like one lumberer and one miner, and then three dedicated to farming. That might be fine. Just to make sure that we don't ever run low on wood, because we're eventually going to need a lot of that stuff to make a lot of them. Um, we're going to need plenty of those things to make. To make a. Uh, McCollum's. Pal's feet. Palmbat has mining too. As does Demud. I like Demud better. Demud's just cute. Where did I, where did I put him? And then we're going to need some water planter harvester types. 
to handle the wheat farm and the berries. I've lost him. Where'd he go? Where's my demud? There he is. Who's best at watering? Penkin can do lots of things, but because Penkin- anything with transporting is every now and then gonna just, like, leave. <laughs> you can assign it specifically to one thing, but then it's, like, locked to that thing. Like, if I tell Penkin to water the, the wheat, he's not gonna also want to water the other stuff. Uh, I think that, um, T-fonts are maybe a good option. T-fonts can- they only have watering one, but they can only water. So if I wanted somebody to run around and do nothing but water, it's not a bad idea. There we go. Because <laughs> they don't have any other skills. And then maybe some nice, like maybe one planter and one harvester. So Caperty does have farming. But it's got planting two. And then I need uh, one with the, the other leaf, the, the double leaf. In, ideally in a rank two. Somebody had it. Oh, there we go. Gale Claw. Perfect. And then we have two slots left to choose who we want to breed. I've been kind of randomly breeding. Um, I feel like Bron Cherry's... I'm going to breed Bron Cherry, and then I'm going to find some female pal that has some good trait. I'm just going to see what happens, I think, is what I'm going to do. So let's get Bron Cherry, and before I lose him... Excuse me! Because he's a pretty powerful pal. So, excuse me, sir. You have, you have important work. Do people raid with full conquest gear? I'm sure somebody must. If you get it upgraded, it's probably not the worst thing ever. So you go hang out at the breeding farm. And then I'm going to find you a wife. <laughs> I'm going to find you. She's going to be great. I promise. She's going to have magical skills. So it just needs to be a female something with some kind of a skill that I want to pass down. So workaholic is lower sanity dropping. That's not as nice as it sounds. Ideally, if I found a female, like artisan is like one of my favorite traits because it's just really good. I can also, this is a female with runner movement speed. So if this happened to make a, like a mounting one, it would be nice and fast. Yeah, I'd have to look up a, a bunch of different combos if I wanted to specifically figure out how to breed like a, um, like a fast mount, for example. There's a malpaca with runner. That's a male Malpeco with Runner. That one is serious. That's a Workaholic. What, I'm, what I would love to find is a female Artisan something. There is an Artisan female Floppy. Alright. We got her. Floppy and Brunch would have really cute children. They don't seem to volunteer themselves for the... Oh, she's going to bed. I suppose that's fine. <laughs> I suppose we should all go to bed. Yeah, there are pals you can only get through breeding. There's like certain elemental combinations. Um, I haven't even tried messing with those yet. Oh, I love my house. <sighs> oh, she's sleeping in. Get up. Get up. Things to do. Pals to breed. If you ignite your own fireplace, then maybe your pals won't feel the need to do it for you. Okay. Where did Floppy go? Speaking of which, where did Bron Cherry go? <laughs> I felt... Maybe just taking a break or something like that? I felt, um... That one benefit of having a separate base for breeding is that your pals won't get so distracted doing everything else. <laughs> So it says, uh, male and female not present. So we need to go get Bron Cherry back, and then I need to offer them some cake, and they should start. They should start making eggs. I don't know what they're gonna make, but I'll find out. What? But the good news is that Socks over here, despite his being a slacker. Oh, we only have 10 of 13 beds. I need to make a few more beds. 
I can, uh, I can, I can do that. Sox was working on cake. Where are you going? Oh, you're hungry. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Union mandated snack break. Uh, I need at least another three beds. And then we can check and see, check on our food, see if we have honey that we need to move to the fridge, etc. I like matchmaking. I want to see what kind of egg those guys make. I just got to get him a cake first. Socks, are you back to baking? I think you are, yeah. Good. The caperty, I really want to make sure, is on top of harvesting. I think that's what I got it for. It was either planting or harvesting. Don't be grazing in the farm. He's just going to drop berries if he grazes in the farm. Don't be doing that. No thank you! No thank you! <laughs> I guess if I had to pick, I would assign her to wheat. Oh. Can't be assigned. Can't be assigned. Well then just do something else. That's growing. At least they're growing. Somebody's working on them. So now that it needs harvesting, Gale, okay, Gale Claw's coming over to harvest. I guess maybe Caperty will work on planting when it's planting time. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Everything's, everything's coming together. Tifon's Tifon, just waiting for watering to need doing. <laughs> Demud's doing his best over here on the, on making rocks. Oh. Level 8, there's 14 Dinosaur that's just asking to be captured. Did anybody make my... Did anybody make my fiber? Somebody started making the fiber and then got horribly distracted. <laughs> Tifont, there's watering for you to do. Do you want to water... <laughs> do you want to water the crusher? Any good? Is it too... Are you too small for it? You're so cute. Ugh. Yeah. Go make yourself useful. Can be assigned. Oh, that's so weird. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> Maybe it'll get better over time. This I think is all running pretty smoothly. Is this chest full of stuff from the from the farm? Not so much. The mud can just kind of do whatever he wants. What about? Their feed chest. There are eggs and milk in here that we need to rescue. Yeah, eggs, milk, honey. Come with me. Put those things all into here. Oh yeah, I had a cake all ready to go. That's right, I forgot. Are you guys ready for a cake? Oh, that's what the box is supposed to look like. I bet you anything that when that egg does spawn, when these guys are ready for their egg, it's gonna- I'm actually gonna be able to see it. <laughs> because this base- this, this one's not like, you know, sunk into the earth. That's funny. There we go. Yeah. Tifon is stuck. It's trying to go around to the other side of your crusher. Rotate it. Oh. Oh. I didn't know it was backwards. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's see. Are we sure it's backwards? Which side should be forwards? Cause that's the that's the default like facing you side. I could put the wheel I don't know, I can here, I'll just move it up a bit, I suppose. Well, I don't know, it doesn't look nice there. Cause every other way looks more backwards to me. This looks definitely backwards. Maybe I'll put the wheel here, let's put it on a nice little angle. Maybe that's better. Did they make an egg yet? Did they make an egg yet? Oh, I'm encumbered. Oh, that's right, because I picked up all that wood. 
I was gonna ask for uh, I was gonna ask for lots and lots of fiber. Okay, that's a lot of fiber. Maybe uh, maybe like half that much fiber. <laughs> I promise it's not. They want to be on the side of the hopper. They won't run out of the blue to get there. Uh, well, it's working now. Although I don't know where T-Fond is, but something's happening. <laughs> oh, T-Fond went into the breeding farm. Oh yeah, they do want to be on that side. That's weird. I guess I just, I'm just not industrially uh, experienced enough. I don't know which side's the front. Okie dokie. Alright. You guys are all happy. Did you make an egg? Did you make an egg? You did make an egg! What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? What do you guys make? It's a regular verdant egg. Should we go do- what time is it? It's 11.30. Should we- <laughs> should we go do a little exploring before this day's over? Maybe put together a nice, uh, nice, um, whatchamacallit here? Let's fix a few things. Nice team of combat pals and uh, try another boss or just go get some new um, some new fast travel points. Because I'm level 25. I'm level 25. Being able to move a little while fully encumbered. Great change. Pal swift trade increases that speed too. The um the mammoths are like level thirty something. I'm definitely still too too young for those. <sighs> I could try into a dungeon. Where do them all go? I'll have to decide after I see what's in that egg if I want them to, to try it again. Let's make put that in that in. That's that's on the go. Let's take all that stuff. And let's let's get a nice let's look at a nice combat team together and maybe go let's see, there's a level 23 bushy over there. I could try to fight that. King Paka's also 23. I would love to catch a King Paka, I just don't think I'm good enough to do it yet. I have some spears. Dark pals are the good ones against mining. Let's put everybody back away, and then let's sort by level. Let's see, who has a nice dark attack? Tombat. And Tombat's got 200. Yeah, Tombat will be good for King Paka. Who else do we want to bring with us here, just in general? Uh, you and you. You three. And then maybe Fox Parks? Not a bad idea. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go try and catch the King Paka. I don't have high hopes, but it's worth a go. It's worth a go. I don't even think I've killed it yet. Oh, you didn't like the trading post here, Chief? I uh, I I enjoyed it a lot. I got a I got a few things. I got I got mounts and pets mainly, but I really liked it. Uh, yeah, if you're on a if you're on a world with other people, you guys can share a base. You can help each other craft things. You can help each other gather materials. Uh, you can go on an adventure together. You can. It's basically just having another player with all the same power as you. It works together really well. I do find that um, sometimes I like playing on a solo world after having played on a multiplayer world because on a multiplayer world you can like password lock chests and stuff. But for the most part, every now and then you're gonna start doing something and your things are gonna go like missing or like you'll. You'll be like, wait, where did all the mats go? Or, <laughs> you know, who used all of the ore? Um, and uh, it's harder to keep track of what's going on. But you can also share each other's um, share each other's progress. Like one person makes a sphere workbench and then everybody gets to use it kind of thing. Oh, there's a, there's a dungeon over here. King Paka should be in this field somewhere, I think. Yeah, there it is. Let's, let's do this. I'm gonna start with Nightwing, and I'm gonna try and fight the the baby Mel Pockets first if I can. Actually, maybe these guys. You guys could just get out of here. <laughs> or 
are the are the mill packets done? I might let you guys duke it out and I'm gonna go. I wouldn't be mad at catching more of these. I think I still haven't yet caught 10, so it's good experience. Nice. Yeah, that was my number six, Melpaka. I just need to make sure I pull Nightwing in and not have him die. Because... That is my flying note. Combat should do pretty good damage to it, in theory, just because of the tight matchup. Although he does have to hit with the ability first. I've only recently just discovered Tombat's ultrasonic sensor ability. It's pretty cool. It gets it lets you track all of the nearby pals on your um, your navigator, not your map, but like the top of the screen one. Doc 8, thank you for the three month reset. Finally get your stream, been watching it from YouTube. Go back to WoW, lol, just joking. <laughs> oh, can just be? Yeah, he's pretty big. Well, that might die. Wesley, you go, you go take a shot. You do surprising amount of damage for a, for a low level pal. <laughs> or for, a, for a, a basic pal, anyway. Wesley, where do you go? Are you in the ground? Open world ones don't have any kind of a time limit. I think maybe my Ikvidir and my Nightwing might be my best bet for just damage. Tight matchups. Be damned. <laughs> They're higher level. And I think there's like a pretty good amount of damage. Though. You gotta get out of that. Mm, yeah, my odds are not super good yet for catching it. I do have better spears. When it gets a bit lower, I'll try throwing a couple yellow ones. I would like to catch it if I can. King Paka, he got swift. Oh, I ha I must make a Melpaka saddle. I I simply must. That's incredible. That's really nice. <sighs> Do I even have that unlocked? Not Melpaka saddle. King Paka saddle. Can you ride King Paka? Actually, I guess I don't know that. Um, I don't, and I won't until I go back. I don't know if you can. You might not be able to. I know you can ride Melpakas. Because I used to do that before I got Ikvidir. Toko Toko, Bronze Cherry, King Paka Saddle. Yeah, I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. I'm going to need a bunch of leather, a bunch of ingots. We'll see. Uh, this is a early access game. This is an early access game. Very early access IMO. Um, yeah. I find it to be very functional. I think that it's. I've not encountered any, like, critical fatal errors. Um, 
which is kind of the thing that would turn me off of an early access game, is if it just straight up didn't work. I haven't found it to be, like, some things are inconsistent, but I don't find it to be, like, wildly more buggy than something that is fully published, like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a full game to me, but that's kind of, it's like a personal assessment. It's definitely, technically, still early access. Yeah, the cloud save thing this morning, my, I mean, maybe I'm just being naive. I, I'm inclined to kind of blame Steam um, and not Palworld for that, or maybe even myself. I might have done something wrong, but maybe that's just... Not fair. Yeah. I'm not a super experienced Steam user, so I may have done something wrong to overwrite my own save file. Having a ton of fun with it, yeah. Hmm. I have more room for more ore. Whenever I go out to do anything, if I see ore around and I have the room to hold it, I feel like I may as well just bring it with me. One thing I don't think I've recreated yet is like my flame cauldron and the other like efficiency items. I don't even think I ever got a uh, a fountain running, but I have the I have the ability to make one. I just need the pal fluids for it. I have a Kativa that is a coward and brave. It's excellent. I had a sadomasochist one where it had sadism and masochism, and they just both completely canceled each other out. <laughs> You're working on that. In the meantime, we can we can dunk these. Oh yeah, I picked up an egg. That's right. Ooh, did my other egg hatch yet? Is my verdant egg? My verdant egg is ready. What did we get from Bron Cherry X Floppy? We got. Oh, I got a bee guard. I got a hard skin bee guard. That's funny. <laughs> that's 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 that's. that's funny the way that worked out. Okay, um, I have enough bee guards. I, honey is good and bee guard is something that I was really struggling for for a long time, but I have them now, so I think I'm gonna breed something else. Also, I wanna see if I have the mats to make a, uh, a saddle for that King Paka that I got, cause if so, that could replace my egg theater. That could be huge. I just buy honey. Flopander seems like a natural breed. So for a king pocket saddle, I'm oh I'm short on wool. Okay, let's uh, let's get some more wool. Let's uh, let's adjust things around a little bit. Cause I have 32 honey, which is enough to be getting on with for the moment. So I could probably pull a bee guard off and then replace that with um. Well, honestly, didn't I have a didn't I have a like a by I'm pretty sure I had a really good Melpaca is just ranching one actually. I have a serious Melpaca. What about my Lambols? I have a serious Lambol. Because the other ones, Kremis can do it. Kremis, Motivational Leader, Kremis. I'm looking for an Artisan Wool Dropper. Uh, that one's Dragon Killer. That's a Workaholic. Alright, we'll do we'll do the serious Melpaca. It's also got burly body. Hmm. Sell my excess palace village you can still stuff at. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. And then who do I want to breed? Maybe I'll switch Floppy out for somebody else. I want to breed Van Wert with something actually. Let's uh let's let's take both of these guys out. Broncherry and Floppy were both being bred. Let's breed Sort by number. Actually, let's breed an alpha pal. My van worm is. I have an incineram. 
Has some wheeze punks. I have a level 10 male van worm. He's clumsy, but we're not going to judge him for it. I need a female. I want to look for a female. Female alpha pal? Yeah, I've got some female alpha pen kings. Actually, my female swift um, king paka as well. Let's maybe see if I can breed those guys. So let's... Before I make you your saddle, can I... <laughs> She's so big! No judgment. There we go. Get her some more cake. And then where did Van Worm go? There he is. Yeah, you're doing great, you're doing great. Thanks for cooking. I feel bad because you're actively making the cake that we're gonna need and nobody else is doing it, but... I just want to make sure you understand your assignment. And then eventually when the next cake is ready we can see what kind of... Uh, how those two make. I could make the cakes myself, but I don't think it's going to go very quickly. Might be worth doing one. Actually, I have a... You can help. That's mildly faster. <laughs> Cakes just take so long to bake. I mean, I guess I understand. If I'm making a cake in real life, I'm 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 setting aside all day. It's not that it's hard. It's just different. Amount, you know, you gotta let it cool down. You don't want to ice it when it's still hot. They bake for like a long time. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun just mixing and matching various pals to see what what breeding combos you get. And then I my current mission for upgrading my base itself is a sphere assembly line and a power generator, and I'm pretty sure I need just like a lot of ore. How does one get over the feeling of playing certain games where losing means losing rank? I'll avoid Hearthstone for like two thirds of the month because of this. How does one get over that? a good question. I don't know if I have a helpful answer. I can't- I could say be less invested in your rank um, or just play and lose the rank and do that 500 times and your body eventually figures out that it's not such a big deal. Because I used to feel that way especially about PvP. I didn't want to log on and queue PvP. So I decided instead of setting a rank goal I was going to set like a games played goal instead so that even if I was losing I was still making progress in that goal. Um, that's often a good a good way to try to frame it to yourself, but it's much easier advice to say than it is to take. Maybe I need a little exposure therapy. Yeah, you can set a goal of like trying to trying to just like play a match every day, um, and then even if you play and you lose and you lose rating, you've still you've still achieved your goal of uh, of, of getting on and, and spending some time with it. I'm excited to make that King Paka saddle. I'm gonna need a bunch more wool, but no pack is on it. Fox Bark says, hella rep control. Hazel, will you be my life coach? Oh, blind leading the blind. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I'm a huge repository of all of the advice that I don't take, which is why I struggle to make progress in my life. Am I cooking a fish? Oh no, it's like a chicken leg. The anim your character's animation is the same no matter what you're uh, what you're making here. There we go. Give me the cake. I shall put the cake in the cake box, and then first thing in the morning you guys can you guys can enjoy. Yeah, love's blossoming. Let's, let's let them do that overnight. I used to find back when I had different problems with making YouTube videos, I would get very discouraged like I would make a video it wouldn't get as many views as I wanted it to and I would get very discouraged about making another one and I reframed that as I'm gonna make a goal of making x amount of videos or spending x amount of time making videos and 
not have the goal be something that I can't control, like use, and more have the goal be something that I can control, like, you know, trying, like putting putting time and effort in. And maybe some of that time and effort could be on things like A-B testing or market research or other things that might eventually get you more views. But at the end of the day, there's some things out of your control. Um, and there's things that are under your control, and it's hard to set your goals based on things that aren't up to you because, well, they're not up to you. You gotta figure out the thing that is up to you and have your goal be to do as much of that as is reasonable. Again, great advice. I take almost never. <laughs> your cabin is so cute. You like it? I just redid it. It doesn't look so cute from the outside. I could stand to maybe decorate the outside a little bit more, but I, uh, I, I, she has like a little bath with her little towel rack. I've got my house plant and my, my mirror. A little fireplace, I love it. We think we all hoard great advice we don't take ourselves. Alright, are you guys in love yet? Are you in love? Are you in love? Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? I'm not looking. <laughs> They're working on it. Hmm. You should have a roof? They have a roof. It's just a flat roof. <laughs> it's a bit like a portable. Maybe we maybe we explore a little bit. How's uh how's the farm doing? We got any more wool yet? I kind of I really thought that that chest was gonna be filled with all sorts of things that the the ranching pals had dumped onto it. But hi, are you taking a break? What's going on? Hard at work. Seems to be a good worker. Am I? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> thinking, am I having a moment? I'm sure an alpaca can go on the ranch. Mozzarina, hi. Hello, can I help you? What are you up to? Why is it not grazing? <laughs> and then there should be a chickpea around here too. Thank you. Do stairs fit as roof? Maybe. Do you think Nintendo's gonna take it down? Um... I think Nintendo is going to take any actions that are legally available to them because Nintendo, um, they're very good friends with their lawyers. <laughs> they know their lawyers very well. They're acquainted, I would say. <sighs> if they can do anything, they will. All right, I'm gonna maybe spin. I mean, it's going okay. That's going fine. Nintendo petty. I think that you, I mean, you can say that and it might be true. Um, so much as companies can have personality traits, but they're the thing that you got to remember with copyright law is that if you do not defend your copyright when it's infringed upon, you can lose the rights to it. Like if you just let people, if, if you see if there's, if copyright violation is happening and you are seen to be just not like negligent about pursuing that, you can actually lose the right to your copyright. So Sometimes people will, will say that a company is like bullying or being petty or being mean for like making a copyright suit against a smaller property. But if they don't do that and they consistently don't do that, there can be real repercussions. It's not necessarily like a being nice thing. <sighs> Nintendo doesn't even need to win a lawsuit. They just need to drag the legal fight out long enough so the other company goes bankrupt. Yeah. I've noticed that... Um, and mind you, I don't know a thing about law. <laughs> and some people might know about law. Whether or not those people will be the prevailing forces on gaming forums is something I'm skeptical of. I think people will say a lot of things. A lot of people want, like, their company to win. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't... C Caprity, are you alright? <laughs> are you, are you quite alright? Alright, um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about, about any of it. It does, it's not like any of us saying anything is gonna matter anyway. Yeah. Um. But, like I said, I don't know anything about the law, so. <laughs> or at least I don't know, I don't know a whole lot about, about copyright law, so I could not speculate as to whether or not it's infringing or not. I do think that a lot of the, a lot of the pals have design that is very, very reminiscent of existing Pokemon design, but maybe they're really good at skirting that line, um. I don't think that having creatures in your game is the problem. I think the problem is how close some of them look to existing Pokemon. But the Pokemon then themselves look close to existing animals. Like, you you know, you can say that a Lambo looks a lot like a Wooloo, and it's true, but they also both look like sheep. Uh, you can copyright a, a Wooloo, but you can't really copyright sheep. Uh, I think. I don't know. 
watched LA Law for like six years, so I always weigh in on legal matters. All right, so we got a huge Rocky egg. A huge Rocky egg from that from that pairing. It's gonna take two, hang on, let's make a fire for them. If it's gonna take two hours, I can give them a little campfire. Whoa. Lucky? Maybe. I did use two of my hot, my strongest pals. Now I'm kind of wondering who else I can breed with King Paka. Because King Paka's a lady, so I would need male pals that seem strong and maybe have cool traits. Who else do we have? So Incineram, Van Worm, you've done great. Thank you very much. Let's go to the back of the list where the pal numbers are high. Male pal. So I could I could breed King Paka with Bronze Cherry and find out what happens. <laughs> Toss it over here. But yeah, we'll have to see. Oh, see, look, they they're they're actually a simpler side breeding next cell pal. I'm dying to know what's in this. But it's not going to hatch for an hour and 18 minutes. I'm not going to find out on stream today. But it's huge! They only have the name tag of the copyright. Oh, interesting. Absolute unit, unit Pokemon. Holy. What time is it anyway? 10 to, 10 to noon? New base is coming along quite nicely. They're all, they're all fast at it. Let me check the feed box and see how they're doing on food. You guys, you got enough to eat? They've got lots of that stuff still. This is looking good. Pull these things for the fridge. I love Chillit. I love Chillit so much. And then maybe uh, load up the mill. I left the mill adjacent to the wheat field, I thought. Didn't I? Did I never make a mill? I meant to make a mill. Oh yeah, I put it over here. That's right. Somebody can come water that. Right. Didn't I leave a T font around here somewhere? T font busy with the. Uh... Yeah, T font's still busy over here. Oh, T font, did you get stuck? Oh, T font's hungry. I'm so sorry. Come here. Come here. I'll spin the. I'll spin the crusher. I promise. You just go. You just go live your life. I might need to put the crusher in a different spot. That might just be a poor place to crush. So they want access to this side. And they don't want to get stuck anywhere. Having a fish flop around on land is disturbing. It's bouncy! <laughs> but I think I should be set in fiber for now. I just kind of wanted to have some. You can make Paldium out of stone. Oh, five stone for a Paldium. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Go for it. Can I make a King Paka saddle yet? I know I'm busy breeding her, but can I make a King Paka saddle yet? Eight eight wool? I might need I might need cloth. Let me check again. Huh? I can make a vanworm saddle. That's tempting. It doesn't use any of my wool. It just uses a... Uh... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've never ridden a vanworm before. Let's do it. If you breed two of the same pal, it will give you an a third one of that same pal. Um... And when you breed two different pals, the result isn't random. It's just difficult to know unless you already knew or you had looked it up through some kind of a table. Breeding two pals will take the average of their strength values, their breed strength values, and then pick the pal that is closest to the, the average of that. So if you breed two really strong pals, you're going to get a third pretty strong pal. And which one depends on what the parents were. 
starting to run out of battery here. Live for two hours and fifty six. Okay. I must know what riding a van worm is lightly full about. Calculators out there will tell you what you get. Mm. Yeah, that seems like at a certain point it would be really useful. So Van Worm can fly? Question mark? Maybe I just can't fly in my base? No, Van Worm... Eh? Why can't I fly? <laughs> it looks like it should be able to fly. Double space? Oh, weird. I feel like I didn't need to do that on my other bird. That's strange. It does feel a bit faster than my other bird. It's got... Let me see. We've got a blast. We've got air cannon. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. I wonder if that's going to replace Nightwing for me. I like uh, checking the tops of these things because often you'll find eggs at the very tippy tops of the Lion King Rex. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out for next time that I play, I'm going to have to figure out what kind of pals I'm trying to get and make a plan. This might be notebook, notebook territory. I'm going to want like nice fast mounts. I'm going to want nice strong attack pals across a variety of type ranges. And I'm going to want... Nice, strong work pals across a variety of jobs, and all of that I think is going to take a fair amount of pretty precise breeding. And my random dartboard method might be good for now, and it might give me some good parents to kind of work into the equation, but it's also just kind of, you know, at the end of the day, random. There we go, regular rocky egg. What do we got over here? Oh, is that a Lifmug statue? It might be. And then I see a few more of them actually that way. Those bright green little tiny things are super nice. You get enough of them and you can increase your capture power, your odds when you're trying to catch pals. I don't know how close I am to the next upgrade because I'm pretty sure I did an upgrade when I was off stream and then my progress got rolled back. Okay. I'm excited about my weekend. Maybe if the weather's nice I'll uh, see if I can get out and go somewhere. Getting lift monk effigies at night is super nice. Mm. It's a good idea. Looks like there's a fast travel point sort of ahead and to the right. I'm gonna run out of um, air here. Oh, there's an egg over here. Sometimes it's fun to just fly around and just do chests and eggs and statues. That's one of my one of my favorite things to do. Uh, it would be nicer if <laughs> my mounts were faster. We might have to try and see what we can breed. Catch rate went way down after leveling up. Oh, that's a bummer. I see another one here. Oh, and there's an egg down there too. That that looks like a good one. It's a fun world to explore. A large dark egg. Don't mind if I do. Getting the incubator was huge because I feel like that's the eggs that you find. It's much easier to find like a large egg than it is to catch naturally like a like a really strong pal. So some of my best pals are ones that I've like hatched. Yeah it seems like it's just one map. did. It's on the top of that peak. Should I aim to get a fast travel one here? Oh yeah, there's another one. Bridge of the Twin Knights. I should pick up that, that fast travel. Should 
be... Yeah. There it is. I see it. Oh, those are tansies. I thought they were lift monk statues for a second. Ooh, that looks like a nice egg. That looks like an electric egg. I'm getting restocked. A large electric egg. Oh, ho, ho. How to stop using normal spheres? Couldn't even catch super low level pals. That sucks. Yeah, I hope they fix that soon. That doesn't sound fun at all. Yeah, this looks like a nice place to come back and maybe farm, farm some pals at some point for experience. I haven't leveled much because I've been too- I've been having too much fun <laughs> scooting my base around and uh, I'm level 25. I haven't done a whole lot. But look at all these- uh, <laughs> look at all these eggs I found! Alright, I should probably start to think about wrapping up here. Got the guilty pleasure of flying as high as I can, flying till I run out of stamina and just enjoy the free fall. <laughs> that is a oddly specific activity. How are the eggs doing? A little cold. Can throw the large electric one in there. Dark egg in about 12 minutes. Level cap at 50. Oh. <sighs> All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, for spending another Pal World day with me. I really appreciate it. I will stream WoW next week. Um, there will be a fresh week of weeklies to do. I'll have a fresh week of which McCollum's. Um, freehold friends to get done. Hopefully we'll have some new news about the next upcoming patch. I was kind of hoping we would hear this week, but must not be ready yet. I appreciate your company. I'll be back on Wednesday, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!